Welcome to Ultimate Autographs. If you were looking for the internet's most exciting and interactive live break room, then you have come to the right place. We are opening live break mystery boxes featuring the biggest names from across the sports world every single day. If you're new to breaking with us, we can help break it down and make it as easy to understand as possible. First, head over to the live break page and look for a series that suits your interests. Most of our series will have eight spots, which represent the eight NFL divisions, but other sports breaks or mixers may vary. If you purchase one spot, that means you have a one in eight chance to win that item at an extremely discounted rate. Next, click add to cart to purchase your live break spot. Once you've completed your checkout, tune into the next available live breaks broadcast on Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube at noon, 3, or 6 p.m. Central Time any day of the week. As you watch, you will see your name appear on the screen when your specific break begins. Your name will go into the randomizer and will be randomized a specific amount of times based on that evening's dice roll number. Once randomization is over, the list of names of people that bought into that live break will be matched up with a specific division. If the item that is pulled from the mystery box matches your division, congratulations, you just won an incredible piece of signed memorabilia. Want to guarantee yourself an item as opposed to testing your luck? Some of the series that you see on the live break page can be purchased under the mystery box tab of our website. Those boxes could either be shipped directly to your door or open live on the air before being sent to you. While you are there, make sure to sign up for our Signature Points Club. This exclusive club earns you points toward specific discounts, signed items, or exclusive events each and every time you buy at ultimateautographs.com. Your host tonight is an Eagles fanatic. I already know I like it because it's on a Philadelphia Eagle. He talks about the Eagles even when they aren't being pulled. Can't say enough good things. The only negative thing I can say is he's not a Philadelphia Eagle because we had a horrible draft. I'll always hype up an Eagle. Don't you worry, Fonz. <laughs> Make sure to ask to see a sweet thigh tattoo. Your host tonight, Colin, a.k.a. Thor Rudisil. The moment you have been waiting for has come. Let's break some signed memorabilia. And from the UA Studios here in Burridge, Illinois, this is Ultimate Autographs. How's everybody doing tonight? Colin Rudisil here alongside my man, Steven Ryan. Primetime Wednesday. It's hump day, everybody. We're almost there. We're almost there, which is great. Uh, but the breaks are just getting started tonight, which is fantastic. Diamond Helmet still having probably the best helmet in the room. Mm -hmm. I would say, I mean, arguably the entire day. That Justin mm -hmm. Herbert chrome speed flex is absolutely incredible. Anything Chargers related is something you're going to want in your collection, especially if it's Justin Herbert, who, in my opinion, top five. I mean, you could argue maybe closer to top three quarterback in the NFL. We are down to just 17 Diamond Helmets left. Eight headliners, including that Herbert chrome flex. Fred Taylor, uh, Hydros Flex, Aiden Hutchinson, Kurt Warner, George Kittle. Some amazing headliners in the Diamonds. Looking over here as well, how about baseball? We are officially in full swing, quite literally, in baseball season. And we have some amazing headliners in that baseball season. I mean, Mike Trout, obviously. Ronald Acuna Jr., Johnny Bench, Fernando Tatis, Ryan Sandberg. There's a good one. Garrett Cole, I mean, really, that's an incredible series. 25 boxes left, 12 headliners. That should be a hot break tonight as well. Jerseys, of course, always hot. I think we're actually pretty close on the jerseys. That should be one of our, if not our first break. Tyree Kill, Deion Sanders, Terrell Davis still out there. Only eight jersey boxes left, five headliners. Fresh series on deck there. Should be a fun night tonight, Steven. Absolutely. Ready to get started? Let's get the party rocking and rolling. I like that. I like that. Need the minis to get finished. Good point for Taylor. There's only uh, two boxes left in the entire mini helmet series. And then we are on to a new series in the mini helmet, so that, that is what's up. up. We do uh, need to get the show started here, so kind of ignore what's on the screen right now. We're going to change it up. Starting with our dice roll, this is going to determine the amount of times we randomize everybody's names for their divisions. Got to be a six or higher. A six is perfect, so I guess we won't change that part up. Let's go to the Wheel of Names. This is, I believe... Checking, Checking it real quick. Yep. Every series we have here at Ultimate Autographs, we spin this wheel right here. Whatever it lands on, 
if we fill up any breaks in that series, everybody that plays in it is going to be entered to a top spot draw to win up to $100 in UA cash. Just for playing. Just for playing. And here's a good one for Taylor. It's the mini helmet. So we get that last mini double done. Get a brand new series in the room. Minis should be off and running and get a new series there. We could potentially have up to three new series in the room tonight, depending on how things go. So let me go ahead and put for the chase, not the vault, the minis. Bang, there we go, six on the dice roll. Should be good to go. Uh, looking at the break page real quick. Looks like we don't have anything full quite yet. So let's go ahead and see everything we have going on here at Ultimate Autographs. Hope everybody's doing all right tonight, having a good day, enjoying some Wednesday night here at UA. So you click that link I just put in the chat. It's going to take you here. This is the Ultimate Autographs live break page. Let's start with the diamonds, the pick six double box break. 180 a spot here in the double, guaranteed two full-size authentics or better. Coming out in this break, only three spots to go. And this is what is left, 17 boxes. Eight, eight headliners, headliners. Just, just about a 50% chance, chance, just under. Two, two speed flexes, flexes though, included in that. And, and probably, probably again, the biggest helmet, helmet in the room right now, the Justin Herbert Herber Chrome Speed Flex. That, that thing is gorgeous. gorgeous. Obviously, the signature right on the crown, the gold here on the visor, or the face mask, rather. It's a really nice helmet of one of the best quarterbacks in the league. I'm curious what they're going to be doing at wide receiver this year, obviously. They don't have Mike Williams. They don't have Keenan Allen. Uh, uh, but, you know, you know I, I, I still, still am a fan of Quentin Johnson, Johnson personally. I'm guessing they're going to go in the draft and get somebody else as well. But regardless, with uh, Justin Herbert at the helm, I think they're going to be all right. Uh, yeah. 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 Just, Just like, like uh, Josh Allen's in the series, series, another guy that no, no longer has any quarterback or, or wide receivers, receivers to play with. But he's, but he's still a great quarterback. So I'll have faith in Josh Allen that did get pulled in the last show. But we do have that Fred Taylor Hydro Speed Flex, the blacked out Jaguars. Uh, speed flex, absolutely gorgeous there on the best running back the Jaguars have ever had. We're also still looking for a great defensive player there in Aiden Hutchinson on the camo authentic. Always a beautiful lid to have the Lions camo authentic. Kurt Warner on the old school Rams lid. And then we've also got the great George Kittle out there. I mean, one of the best tight ends in the league last year. J.J. Jones saying big echo. There are two. I'm read the product. Edge of the product. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's probably it. Is that better, JJ? That's gotta be better. I didn't even see that on there. Yeah, no worries. Should be bumping on one mic now. Let me know if that's better, JJ, and everybody else. But that's everything in the Diamonds 3. I think we actually disconnected for a minute. I think we're still here. You guys let me know if you can hear me or not. Try to get the the chat back and rolling everything just disconnected for a moment but here is oh man the slam diego jersey we still have that that's pretty sweet the fernando tatis jr everything cut out but i think we're all back on everything oh okay yeah disconnected from obs the internet i think went out for a second i don't know what happened but i am seeing we're bumping on everything uh so hopefully we're good let me know if you guys are still out there the Slam Diego jersey. Of uh, Fernando Tatis Jr.? Yes. Audio good, no reverb. Okay, so JJ is in the chat giving us good stuff. That Slam Diego jersey is sick, by the way. Big fan of that. Big fan of Ronald Acuna Jr., too, who is, uh, I mean, quite simply just doing the darn thing once again this season. Obviously, it was incredible last year. He's leading maybe the best team in the MLB right now. In the Atlanta Braves, although they did catch an L from the White Sox last they night. They did. They Finally. did. Finally. The they Chicago avoided them White today. Sox. Yeah, exactly. And they avoided them today. So they're good. They're good. <laughs> Series split, as far as I'm concerned. One and one and two be determined. It <laughs> doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, Johnny Bench still out there, too. That's on a signed baseball. A lot of ink on that ball. Looks very, very cool. Uh, we still have the Tatis jersey, as mentioned. The Mike Trout bat, though. That red, gorgeous fanat uh, Fanatics authentic bat. Of, I mean, the best ball player over the last decade, arguably, in Mike Trout. Um, obviously, an expensive autograph, too, Mike Trout. Ryan Sandberg still out there. Guy we don't get a ton in the break room on this kind of bat with at least three inscriptions, maybe even four. Ryan Sandberg, obviously, an incredible player, Cub legend. 
Uh, Miguel Cabrera, speaking of that, a Triple Crown winner there on the Louisville Slugger Blonde Bat. Tom Glavin, stat jersey. Saw this in the baseball jersey series. It's back here in the mixer. Uh, we still have Vladimir Guerrero Jr. and Garrett Cole as well. The Black Bat for Vlad Jr. and the Garrett Cole photo. So a ton of photo headliners still here in the baseball series. As a matter of fact, two, four, six, eight, nine in the final 25. Not to mention some of these listed guys as well. We still have Lance Berkman, we still have Carlos Correa, and we still have Bill Mazarowski. So a lot of great players in the baseball series. That's 118 for the double, and the single only 59. It's a six-spot break, guys. So, I mean, odds are pretty bit better than the divisional breaks in the football series. Two to go in that Diamond Helmet series, with that being said. Four to go in the autographed double box break for the Bats. Eight to go in the double vault. The vault still has one very, very peculiar headliner, and that's being the Adrian Peterson Lunar Speed Flex with three inscriptions on here, the yards in his 2012 season all day, and the NFL MVP, the purple visor to go along with it. Just any way you slice it, a gorgeous lid of one of the best running backs of all time. Other than that, a couple of cool rep helmets, the Michael Irvin Flash Cowboys rep, and last but not least, the Lawrence Taylor replica helmet on here as well. All still available in the vault. Those are three headliners here in the final 14, but there's still some listed headliners as well. Actually, two of them are authentic. One is the Eric Dickerson Rams Authentic, the most rushing yards in a single season. We're also still looking for Chris Olave on the uh, replica helmet for the Saints. And the Fran Tarkenton. Starting to see a lot more Fran Tarkenton in the room, which is awesome on the full-size authentic. So it's really six headliners in 14 boxes in the vault. We also still have one vault key that's still out there. So really we're looking at about a 50% chance at a headliner or a vault key in the vault. One to go in that diamond double. Let's go see if we can find Justin Herbert. Let's try none to go. None to go, all right. Then I will quickly get through this and we will go ahead and do a diamond double. Let's look at the one in four. This is the best odds per one spot in the break room of winning, 25% chance. 260 for the double, 130 for the single. We're still looking for a lot of cool stuff here. There are 12 boxes left, six headliners left, 50% on the dot. That double box break I love because of the basketball spot. Lakers triple sign. Three absolute legends, all their names in the Raptors, Jerry West, James Worthy, and of course the great Magic Johnson. Celtics, I don't know if we ever confirmed or not. At least two out of the three are in the Raptors. Kevin McHale, Larry Bird. Robert Parrish, I don't think is in the Raptors, but he was a massive part of that team as well. Uh, so those are the two basketballs. We've got the five sig Miami Knights lid. That's an authentic. Michael Irvin, Warren Sapp, Andre Johnson, Ray Lewis, and Frank Gore all on one helmet. All Miami legends. That's a fantastic piece. And then the Dale Earnhardt Jr. still out there on that sick replica helmet in the one and four. And we are also still chasing the J.J. Watt as a secondary headliner. That is three to go in the single, four to go in the double. Quickly looking, let's talk about the jerseys because those are two to go. I'll drop that link in the chat as a matter of fact so that way you guys have it because that's probably going to be our next break. We are down to our final eight boxes in the jerseys and we have four photo headliners. Tyreek Hill's still out there. Best wide receiver in the NFL last season, you could argue, over the last several seasons. Deion Sanders still out there as well on the Cowboys custom jersey. we got Terrell Davis. That's a, you know, 2,000-yard rusher. It's a Hall of Famer. And maybe the best linebacker in football, Fred Warner. We also have Frank Gore still chilling as a listed headliner. I was making a joke with Alex that all three of these could have been Bill's, uh, and, and I guess still could be, Bill's jerseys as secondary headliners. The uh, Thurman Thomas, Andre Reid, and then Frank Gore, who did play for the Bills, and we have had him on Bill's stuff before. So we'll see. Uh, last but not least... The mini helmets, $47 a spot, no headliners left, only two boxes left. So we'll do this break. There, I believe there's seven spots to go. So you get a double box break every single time, plus for 47 bucks, you get into that chase wheel spin. If you win the chase, you pay 47. I mean, you can win one to 100. The odds would tell you that you're actually going to profit from paying with one spot. You pay 47, you win even 62. You're actually gonna walk away with more money than what you put in. So worth the play in the minis. But let's start with the diamonds. The best break in the room, pound for pound, no question. Pick six, diamonds, number, double number one, Chris Taft, Jeremiah Greco, Christopher Taylor, Randall Kennedy, Valerie Preventure, Tyler Felch, and Dustin Rose. What's going on, everybody? Drop me two numbers. 
for Diamond. Double number one. First come, first serve on the box call. They are scrolling on the bottom. 2 through 4, 11, 16, 18 through 21, 24, and 27 through 33. Got a lot of the backside of the series left. Gotta go exploring. Gotta go exploring. So let me know if anybody wants to call them. A lot of baseball finals today. Maybe one that's a little surprising. The Guardians over the Mariners in Seattle. 8-0. to zero. Wow. Yeah, only five hits for the Mariners. Uh, and George Kirby, our fantasy pitcher, getting absolutely rocked. Giving up eight <laughs> runs. The 6.97 ERA. Real nice. To start the year. That's pretty good. Yankees get the job done in 11 innings. Was looking very good for me in the under in that game. Had a uh, seven and a half runs. It was four to four going into the ninth, and then extra innings did me in. You said you seven and a half, but it was already at eight. It was seven and a half runs. It was two to two. Sorry, oh, it's two, two to two. two. Okay. Four total runs. Wow, yeah. Four total runs going into the ninth. The Yankees had an error. They they gave up. They scored. They hit a two run homer in the top of the tenth. Mm -hmm. Then they had an error in the bottom of the tenth. That led to them keeping the inning alive. And then they ended up tying the game, and then they went to the 11. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was, it was bad. It was bad. Just pure agony. Pure agony. Unlike the Diamonds, which should be just pure joy, Chris Lloyd wants 3 and 16. 3 and 16? 3 and 16. Going off the ticker. Appreciate you, Chris. Guessing Chris Lloyd is Chris Taft. Yes. Can you confirm that for me, Chris, just to make sure? Because you do have to be in the breaks to call the numbers. But I do see a Chris Taft. And I was a Chris like, Chris Lloyd. Lloyd, I have you in the jersey, which is coming up next. Okay, so maybe not, actually. Yeah. I do have a Chris Lloyd. He's coming up in the jersey. That's Yeah, next. that's not him. Okay, so that's fine. You do have to be in the breaks to call the numbers. Uh, in the specific break that's happening. But that's all right, no problem. Jerseys will be coming up here soon. So I guess we're going to go to the wheel then to decide this. 1 to 35 wheel. Here we go. Two numbers we're going to need. <coughs> 3 and 16 on Tyler F. I already have the wheel up. Unfortunately, that is the rules here in the break room. So we are going to go ahead and go with whatever numbers are here with the wheel, uh, which is going to be 20 for 1. That is an official rule now at Ultimate yeah. Autographs, mm -hmm. by the way. Whenever the, whenever the uh, randomizer pops up, that is when we stop accepting box numbers. So we'll do uh, those two. He says, okay, no problem. What are the numbers, 20 and 27? 20 and 27, I believe the wheel chose two numbers that we can actually use. But Tyler, I do appreciate the box calls just a little sooner, and we'll be all good. Six do, clicks coming up. We do want you guys to call them. Always, yeah. Was just trying to get in for him since he picked those. I feel you. 20 and 27. I didn't even realize those were the two numbers that he called, yeah. It's like, maybe he's on to something. All right, after six, it is actually Mark Taylor chilling in the AFC West looking for that Justin Herbert. We've got Jeremiah Greco, NFC North, Dustin Rose, NFC South, Chris Taft in the NFC East, Randall Kennedy in the NFC West, Chris Taft, AFC North, Tyler Felt, he's in the AFC South, Valerie Preventure, AFC East, and Chris slash Mark Taylor in the AFC West. So, Fred Taylor would go to Tyler Felch, who did miss out on the box calls, but ended up in a pretty good spot, I would say. Herbert has mentioned going to Chris Taylor, if that comes out. Aiden Hutchinson would go to Jeremiah Greco. Uh, Kurt Warner would go to Randall Kennedy. George Kittle would also go to Randall Kennedy. Still got that double up in that NFC West. This is box 20, called out by the Randomizer. Good luck. 8 and 17 chance at a headliner, just about 50%. First box is a full-size authentic. But whom? But whom? AFC South actually a nice spot. Fred Taylor, Andre Johnson, and Warren Moon all down there. This, wow. None of those guys, but I'll tell you what. This is a guy that's been a headliner before in a Diamond Helmet series. Not even a listed headliner. How about the great Luke Keekley? Oh, on the standard. On the Panthers standard authentic. That thing is tight. The Rose NFC South. Nice. Take Luke Keekley. Right? That thing is tight. 
Yeah, I mean, Luke Keekley was an absolute stud. I mean, the best linebacker in the league for probably, what, a five-year span, at least near the top, if not I mean, number one. I think one. every year of his career, wasn't he a pro bowler? Maybe even all pro. Could be. I mean, he was incredible. I mean, he was insane. He's not in Canton yet, I don't think, but he will be. He better be. Should be. We have some words. Obviously, concussions. Seven-time Pro Bowl, five-time All-Pro. It's insanity. Seven Pro Bowls, five All-Pros. The only year he was in a Pro Bowl was his first year. Oh, God, not his rookie year. Not his rookie year, <laughs> where he was the defensive rookie of the year. <laughs> All right, so he won awards every single time. That's Beckett certified, by the way, for you, Dustin. Very, very cool, man, on Luke Keekley. Again, I mean, this has been a headliner in a Diamond Helmet series before. Oh, yeah. This is a filler hit in this specific series. And uh, he's going to stay on the desk. And most Panthers stay on the desk when we're, when we're on a show together. Panthers? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sheer look alone. 27. Now we're at an exact 50% chance. Right. Excuse me, at a headliner. With two speed flexes still out there. Size authenticity. Oh, what do you know? What do you know? <sighs> this is another great hit. This is another filler, too. I have been literally giving this guy's roses, singing his praises, because I think he is going to be one of the best running backs going forward here in the NFL. Oh, Kyron Williams. Wow. Rams, Flash, NFC West, Randall Kennedy. Nicely done, my man, on Kyron. He was great last year. I think the Rams offense, obviously, extremely lucrative with Matthew Stafford at the helm. Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup are excellent. But Kyron Williams, I'll tell you what, he might have been arguably, I mean, near the top with all of that. Puka Nakua had a great year, but Kyron Williams had an incredible year too. And as far as running backs, uh, I really, really like his potential and where he's going to go. Especially in that scheme. Right? If he does want to run the football. Exactly, and it's very, I mean, look at what he was able to do with Todd Gurley, who was obviously, I mean, the best running back in the league at one point. Right. Kyron Williams, I think, will follow suit. Those are two really good filler hits. Really good filler hits. Both those guys, by the way, had one spot in this break, so, what, $180 for either one of these is, is more than worth it, and that's the power of the Diamond Helmets. Because even when it's not a headliner, even when it's not a listed headliner, it's still something really, really good. I mean, both of these are worth well over $180, no question, on very, very sick-looking lids. So, Dustin, congrats. Kyron, congrats. For everybody else, 15 boxes left, 8 headliners. Only 7 things we don't know. And the unknown so far has been Luke Keekley and Kyron Williams. That ain't bad. That is not bad. Kyron will go away simply because I can't imagine we're not going to do more diamonds here. And I'm seeing five photoed headliners that will probably be on the desk over my man, Kyron Williams. But that's a great hit regardless. Looks like the jerseys are full, so we'll do that next. Jeremiah Goreco, Christopher Taylor, John Sutter. There's Chris Lloyd. Chris, it's your break now, brother. This is his first break. Welcome in, my man, Heather Livingston as well. She's been playing for a couple of days. Good to have Heather back. So now, Chris, drop me a number for Jersey Break number one or anybody that wants to call it. But, uh, Chris, who is your squad, my man, and how did you uh, find Ultimate Autographs? Thank you for playing, and good luck. 27, John Sutter was in there first. We do go with the first one. Chris, I do appreciate you calling a number. John loves to call the numbers, though, and he does have 27 in there first. This is for the jerseys. Correct. Cool. Good odds in the jerseys, by the way. Five headliners left in the final eight boxes. We'll do 27. Chris did call 11, which makes me think of Carson Wentz, who is now a Kansas City Chief. The horror. The pleasure. <laughs> He could be a two-time Super Bowl champion when it's all said and done. That's <laughs> true. That's true. And didn't start in either one of them. Didn't need to. Didn't need to. You would have thought the first one he needed to. <laughs> you really would have. <laughs> this time it's significantly different. I was not sold as an Eagles fan when he went down. 
It's hard to be sold when that happens. Yeah, but Nick Foles, I'll tell you what. If you need a quarterback for just a hot streak, he was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> he was pretty good. If you, you can dial it up once, man, you're good to go. That's all. Hey, he got, he's literally got a statue outside <laughs> the stadium, so he did his part in my, in my eyes. He should be an Eagles Hall of Famer when it's all said and done. I mean, I don't know why he wouldn't be. Right, you only have only have one Super Bowl, right? One Super Bowl. One, exactly. one by him. He caught a touchdown in it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is a lot more than a lot of Eagles can say. Eagles <laughs> wide receivers. Exactly. Anyway, play action jerseys. I don't know if we've ever had Nick Foles in the break room. That would be a good one to get. I feel like we have. And maybe it was a little before your time. I'd have had a Bears item. Well, that's disgusting. Hey, I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> <laughs> 27. It's, it's been a while, though, before since we've had Nick Foles. Yeah, I've sure. never seen him. Jeremiah, NFC North, NFC South. Chris, new guy, NFC East. We're talking Eagles. Maybe we're talking that in existence for him to get his first W. NFC West uh, for Chris Taylor. John Sutter, AFC North. Jeremiah, AFC South. Heather's got the AFC East and the AFC West. Good two spots there with Tyree Kill and Terrell Davis both still out there. Deion Sanders would be an NFC East hit, by the way. And then Fred Warner uh, for Chris Taylor, potentially, in the NFC West. Let's see what we got. I'll give you a hint. It was one of those things I just said. Okay. We've got a headliner. We've got the guy that helped stop the Eagles last year and several other teams, for that yeah. matter, in the NFC. How about Fred Warner? Hey, Fred. Fred Warner, NFC West, one spot, Chris slash Mark Taylor. Well done. Very nice, man. $27 for Fred Warner. He paid half the price of the jersey number for one of the best linebackers in the NFL. That is not a bad get, my man. Right. Great leader, too. And, I mean, he's the defensive leader of, I mean, I don't think it's any surprise, the best defense in football last season, right? Yeah. If we're, if we're putting it all to it. I know the Chiefs had a great defense. I don't know if it was better than what, uh, even though they beat them, better than what the 49ers were cooking all year long. So nice jersey, nice hit. Fred Warner off the table. Sullison says, wow. Wow. Wow, wow indeed. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Really good hits to start the show. Really good player. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Well done. Four and seven chance still at a headliner in the jerseys, though. Only three jerseys we don't know. Excellent, excellent linebackers we've had so far. Yeah. <laughs> Luke Keekley and Fred Warner. Yep. And Kyron Williams. <laughs> he may, I'm sure he plays a mean linebacker. <laughs> I'm sure high school he did or at some point in his yeah. career. When you have an athlete in the youth sports, you just play him all over. <laughs> Thank you, William. I'm glad somebody appreciated it. He <laughs> said that was quick math, Colin. And uh, William's been with us long enough to know that is not necessarily my strong suit. So we'll get Fred Warner written up for Chris slash Mark Taylor. Boom, boom. I know those were our two closest breaks. Uh, looks like we have a baseball mixer double coming up. That's a good deal because uh, I would like to see Mike Trout out here. Who's he's, he's been looking good to start the season so far. Oh, I, as I as you expect something less. <laughs> yeah, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> That's a top ten player of all time. Uh, he's got to slow down at some point, but... Not from the top ten player of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Kohler, Heather Livingston, J.J. Jones, and Tyler Felch. Thank you guys for filling this one up. Drop me two numbers for... I'm just going to call it baseball double number one. First come, first serve. And in the meantime, I would hop back into those diamonds. We're still looking for Jay. Herbs, Justin Herbert, two to go in that diamond double. Five to go in the diamond single. Got another spot off in the minis. That's good. Uh, and then Steven's got another baseball double up for us as well. Should do a lot of baseball today, too, with what's still out there. I mean, there are some massive, massive names. Not to mention that Tatis Jr. jersey is sick. But, I mean, gosh. Trout, Acuna, Bench, Sandberg... Miguel Cabrera. Right. <laughs> Crazy good games. And everybody else, obviously. 7-21. Seven 7-21. and, 21. Seven and 21. And I got to put my baseball divisions to the test. Let's go. 
I can tell you I have not been practicing. <laughs> That's how we want it. Non-practice. Is there a way to tell if I've used my UA $100 gift card that I received for Hall of Fame level on March 20th? I've tried to use it and it won't let me. Hmm. Numbers are 7 and 21. 7 and 21, yeah. Let me... Let me take a look, Val. Maybe I, I might be able to figure it out. No guarantees, but I'll try. Because I think I can just search your name. I do see a $100 one from March 19th that has $0 in value. So it looks like it was used? I think it was used. But if you don't think it was, Val, uh, I would give them a call tomorrow is probably a good call. Or shoot them an email. But I do see one that was issued to you on March 19th that says it's already been spent for $100. But uh, if, if you think that might not be the case or if there's another gift card potentially, I would go ahead and give them a call tomorrow. That was for the vault, I think. Yeah. So I would, I would give them a call tomorrow. Sometimes those, uh, those codes they send out are a little bit faulty for whatever reason. If that's the case, um, he, he'll, he'll just shoot you a new gift card tomorrow pretty pretty easy fix hopefully so what's going on the chronic funk is in the building no problem so wish I had a more immediate solution for you but I think I think that is probably the best the best route all right six clicks here for six divisions it's all good she says it's all good that's why I like Valerie Valerie's easy going First baseball mixer of the day with lucky number seven. Tyler's in the AL East, Heather's in the AL Central, Chris is in the AL West, Heather's in the NL East, JJ's in the NL Central, and Chris in the NL West. Look for that box collar mojo. Here we go. Two coming up here, Stephen. Let's play two. It's a doubleheader tomorrow. I already forgot who it was, but somebody's playing a doubleheader tomorrow. Oh. Well, there is a Cubs legend in the room as a headliner in uh, Ryan Sandberg. Here's another one in Mark Grace on a signed bat. I think we pulled Mark Grace on Monday, which is pretty sweet. But here we are going to get him on a baseball bat. I am almost positive this is a Cubs hit, but I just want to make sure. It is 13 years with the Chicago Cubs. Well, let's go ahead and give it to the NL Central. JJ, who is calling for a random Pete Rose filler this time. Uh, is getting Mark Grace as, instead. I have Luke's cell number. All right, yeah, contact William then, and then you can you can bug Luke at home. Mark um, Grace. Nope. Can't find it. It's a bat, right? You have won a signed bat of Mark Grace, it says. Okay, I do not have it in here. All right, well. We will get it to him. Let's JJ, <laughs> the bat's not in the room for whatever reason, uh, but. Unless this is it. Ah, there Never mind, he's in the room. He's in... It was the last bat Steven checked. He's literally hiding behind. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Take a look at what that says. Oh no. I might have called the winner too early. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure once we look at this. That inscription tells all. Yeah, we do go with inscriptions. I should have known. I should have waited. I should have seen to make sure there wasn't one of these. But there is a 2001. World Series Champs inscription. Now we do go with longest tenure when it's just the autograph, no indicator for something different. But when the bat itself is an indicator or an inscription on the bat, you can find it in the rules. We'll probably take a look at it anyway. But it does say 2001 World Series Champs. Here is Mark Grace's uh, pro baseball reference. 2001, he was actually an Arizona Diamondback. So this is going to be... A diamond back hit, and uh, I don't even have to guess. It's NL West, so Chris is gonna win this one. And just to, just so we're clear, because I do feel bad uh, for JJ, I should have waited to make sure there was an inscription on the bat. To be honest, I wasn't even thinking about it. But Charlie, uh, we're gonna go tenure. That's the correct move. But yeah, that 2001 inscription really does the trick on that one. Yeah, and it's, this is a part of our rules right here. You can see it. 
Uh, the tiebreaker would go to the inscription. 1999 Rookie of the Year would mean the team it belonged to, whatever team he played. Rookie of the Year. So, same same deal here. 2001 World Series champions. That's the way it is. He says, boo, Colin. Yeah, that is boo, Colin. I, I've earned that boo this time around. I, I apologize, JJ, but it is that is the rules. So, 2001 Arizona Diamondbacks. Mark Grace. Chris, though, on the other hand, congratulations on a, a legend, a Cubby legend. He is a Cubby legend. I don't think he of is. him as a Diamondback. But it does say 2001 World Series champ, so that is how it works. Riding lawsuits now, too late. <laughs> he says rules are rules. All right, appreciate you, my man. Mike, what's up? Michael Bennett. Haven't talked to Michael Bennett in a hot minute. Happy to have you in the room, my friend. Hope I'm all as well, Mr. Bennett. And I was just saying, we had a lengthy discussion about this with the inscription yes, in the back, we did. so you don't even know. We figured we figured this was the best way to go about it. It is referencing the Diamondbacks. It's an NL West hit. This feels like it's a bat too, so we're not going to declare a winner unless I know for a fact he's only <laughs> played for one team. He's currently in the league. Whatever it is. Oh, take a Pete Rose as a settlement. Oh, well, that's fair. I think that's fair. <laughs> uh, Michael, I think wanted to know what uh, headliners were left. In oh, the any headliners left in the diamonds? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Decent amount. 15 boxes left, Mr. Bennett. The Fred Taylor flex. The Justin Herbert chrome flex. Aiden Hutchinson, Kurt Warner, and George Kittle. We also have Andre Johnson, Warren Moon, and Michael Strahan all still out there. It says, hello, Colin. <laughs> the dot, dot, dots think, are like I think he's like, hello, Colin. Like, hello, Colin. Can you tell me? Ring. Appreciate you, JJ. Thank you. Okay. Okay. You can probably tell me more. This this is safe, right? <laughs> I pray to God. I can, I can tell JJ he won, right? Is this safe? That's pretty good. Is this safe? I think this is safe. Hold on. <laughs> ah, the 84 NL MVP Hall of Fame 05 10 time all I think we all know what that means. <laughs> okay. I think we I all know what that means. <laughs> this is not going to be a Pete Rose settlement. Uh, but Ryan Sandberg was pretty good. There you go, JJ. Ryan Sandberg was pretty Karma, good. Karma, baby. Karma right there. Yeah, look at that. 84 NL MVP. The Hall of Fame on there as well. Uh, the All-Star game. Good Lord. Ryan Sandberg did a lot. He was a boss. He was a boss. Why am I getting Ryan Sandberg as a manager? Can I get him as a player, please? Uh -huh. <laughs> John says nice yeah man MVP as mentioned and that would be probably what we would do but in the 84 he was playing for the Chicago Cubs his entire career outside of 1981 he was a Chicago Cub bang bang he bang. went to the he was drafted by the Phillies I'm guessing in 81 played his entire career for Chicago after that all the inscriptions are matching up MVP 10 All-Stars, a home run derby champion, nine-time gold glove, seven-time silver slugger. A real issue. A real, real issue. A 285 <laughs> career batting average. I mean, how runs Ryan for Sandberg. That? 282. For, that's for a second baseman. That's... For a second baseman. 67.9 career war. Over a thousand RBIs in his career. Uh, just a really, really nice looking bat for an incredible player, to be honest. I think the late great Ryan Sandberg. I believe he's passed, hasn't he? Ryan? No, he hasn't. Who died for the Cubs? Somebody died. I, he got diagnosed with um, uh, Ron Santo. Ron Santo. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, he Santo. passed away. Yeah, Sandberg's third all-time in home runs by a second baseman. <laughs> Jeff Kent, 354, and Robinson Cano. Got one. Yeah. Jeff Kent, that's a good one, too. Very cool. Very, very cool. JJ, let me know if you're interested in trading that bat, says Cub Fan 1978 I'm sure... Uh, that's probably why he's interested. Love it. Could have been a double cubby. Could have been. But, hey, at least you got one, man. I feel a little bit, you know, you never root for anybody to win, obviously. But I am happy he did end up getting one since we, technically speaking, did have to take one away. Right, yeah. With that uh, with that inscription. But he is getting Ryan Sandberg. And that is a solid headliner W for you, my friend. Nine time gold glover. Jeez. Just a few. He was okay. We're going to keep him on the desk, Ryan Sandberg. I like it. Sup, guys? Headliners in, Mixer or nah? What's up, Danny Vincenzo, a.k.a. Scapetta? Uh, depends on which mixer you're talking about. I mean, I think they both have headliners. 
I'm going to assume you're talking about the vault full-size mixer, in which case we do have three. We are still looking for that Adrian Peterson Lunar Speed Flex with the three inscriptions. Obviously, that's Speed Flex. It's an authentic. The other two are reps. It's Lawrence Taylor and Michael Irvin, uh, but that is a double-up opportunity there in the NFC East. We've also got in the baseball mixer. We're sold out on that diamond double, by the way. Baseball mixer still has a ton of headliners left, including the Slam Diego Fernando Tatis jersey, the Tom Glavin jersey, both photos, Garrett Cole, Ronald Acuna, Miguel Cabrera, Mike Trout. We did just pull that sick Ryan Sandberg back, but Vladimir Guerrero Jr. and Johnny Bench. Did the triple sign Redskins sell them get pulled? I guess they did. All good. Yeah, I think it did because I think that was in that was in here, right? That's a sick lid, but I believe it did get pulled in yes, this series. it did. Yeah, the vault is uh, three photoed headliners, three listed headliners. Uh, the three listed ones are Chris Olave, Fran Tarkenton, and Eric Dickerson with 14 boxes left. I didn't see that. If I saw that, my first thought would have been, where's Michael Bennett? Because that feels like a we win for pulled, him. We pulled, didn't you? And, well, it was me and Common yesterday, I think we pulled that helmet. Yeah, I didn't I, see I petitioned this. for it to stay on the desk. Cause I love that helmet, and I was thinking about you, Mr. Ben. And I was like, "Where's Michael?" This is only the second Redskins helmet I've seen. It at Ultimate Autographs. We had a Terry McLaurin one that was like yellow. Oh, that thing was sick too. Yeah, but that's that's only the second one I can remember seeing. It's hard to come by. They are hard to come by. It might not be for long though. I mean, I would not be surprised within the next few years if they go back to being called the Redskins. I heard that's what people are wanting. Yeah, or at the very least, their logo goes back. But I don't know. Right. All right, let's see what else we can get out of the diamonds. Probably heat. Probably heat, if we're being honest. There's 15 boxes left, eight headliners. Heather Livingston, J.J. Jones, Valerie Preventure, Dustin Rose, Michael Neiman, Valerie Preventure, and Chris Ripka. Mike's hoping for it. I wouldn't be surprised. Mike, have we talked about what you want them to do in the draft? I mean, obviously Sam Howell is out. They're not really with a quarterback right now. Um, I, I'm hoping they're not going to get Jaden Daniels. I think we were talking about that on Monday because I'm a huge Jaden Daniels fan. And to be honest, I don't want to root against him. And I would have to if he goes to Washington. But Bet you would. if I had to guess, Washington's going to go quarterback. I'm just curious who they're going to take. Go ahead and put me in the AFC South now, says JJ. It's not a bad place to be with Warren Moon, Andre Johnson, and Fred Taylor. I mean, there's some great uh, AFC South hits. That's a nasty uh, Allen. Glad I haven't won any dig stuff lately, says Chronic Funk. Yeah, that Allen was sick. They pulled that in the uh, early show. And yeah, Stephon Diggs, that is the actual big news of the day. Getting traded to the Houston Texans, who just the rich get richer, right? And that is who Mike wants. He wants to see the recently rich. Shane Daniels. I think Jane Daniels is going to be a stud. I don't think I think it like last year was a little bit more open to interpretation to who the best rookie quarterback could be. You know, like there's a lot of Bryce Young people. You were high on C.J. Stroud. I was high on Anthony Richardson. I thought like any of the three really could emerge. This year, it seems pretty clear to me it's going to be Caleb Williams. Yeah. But after that, there are some good. There's going to be one more guy. Yeah, and but I think the it's other, Jane Daniels. But the other personally. two are going to. Yeah. Flop. Me, personally, I think it's Jane Daniels. We'll see. Uh, but I think Caleb Williams is What's the last package. quarterback class that had more than two? Would it be the Rivers, Manning, Roethlisberger? No way. There had to be one before that, or earlier than that. No, I'm saying... Even That's after, had three? Yeah, even, after that. After that? That's had more than two? So, I mean, I guess... What In the mean? first round, is that what we're talking about? Or No, like, really good ones, though. Just period? I bet I can find one. I'm sure you can. I'm just saying I'm wondering, wondering what Oh, you're is. okay. You're not disagreeing. You're just yeah, you're I'm, trying to find I'm it. just trying to think of like the well, last what's really great class. The Josh Allen one. Who was all that? Is that the Baker Mayfield? Wasn't that wasn't that no, yeah? Was that Allen, Herbert, and Baker? Well, okay, 2020, you're right. 2020, that's the best class. Yeah. Yeah, 2020, yep, absolutely. That's Burrow, Herbert, Burrow, Tua, that one, yeah, Jaylen that one. Hurts, I was about to say, I was like, there was yeah. one really yeah, good yeah, one. Yeah, that, that one. That now, one that's the, the, right now. Now, now that's <laughs> the best class maybe ever. That was a really good class. Yeah, right. Well, there was the one, what, it was Elway, Marino, like, you know, way back when. Yeah. 19 and 28, by the way, from Chris Ripka. Uh, Chronic said, I don't usually believe in any off-season news, but heard they're going after JJ, so we will see lots of off-season left. 
J.J. McCarthy? Justin Jefferson? Or Justin Jefferson. Ah. Wouldn't be the last, first time the Vikings dealt with the Bills. That's true. As wide receiver specifically. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It worked out for the Bills the first time, I'd say. That's true. Branson, we are all good. Uh, we're already famous. We don't even need it. So appreciate you, though. Talking about Jefferson, yeah. Yeah. That's going to that's gonna require a hefty price. Let me get those off the ticker real quick. It's at 1929, right? 1738, yep. Yeah. No, 1928. 1928. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, we're talking about J.J. Jones. He said they did send me a contract offer. I had to decline due to other obligations. I respect that. Would you go play pro football right now if somebody offered it to you? Ugh. Like, that's, what, that's exactly my thought, too. Ugh. I'm like... I don't even know if I want to. <laughs> I just want, like, I want to do it for, like, a day, and then hope I live. <laughs> okay. I'm just, get, just get rocked, Ooh. go to the medical tent, I'm done. I'm yeah, tired. yeah, I want to be injured, and then <laughs> still get paid. I just want to get paid, that's all I care about. Yeah, I don't want to do the whole football thing. <laughs> I just want to get paid like I'm doing the whole football thing. Backup quarterback, maybe. Throw yeah, a couple right? Balls I want Blake Gabbard's job. <laughs> Breakdown film. The chronic said, in a heartbeat, give me that money. I just don't want to work. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds hard. I just don't want to die. That's the I don't want to do that either. <laughs> All right, let's talk about diamonds real quick. Because uh, let's let's get down to business. There's 15 boxes left, eight headliners, two chrome, or excuse me, two speed flexes. Those speed flexes, by the way, the Justin Herbert chrome speed flex. If it's this box or the next box, it's Valerie Proventure in the AFC West, which is interesting because she is a Raiders fan. But I think she would take the Chrome Speed Flex if it was up to her. AFC South, it, she could get two Speed Flexes right here, right now, Steven. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, that is. That's pretty crazy. She could get both Speed Flexes right here, right now. Aiden Hutchinson, NFC North, that would be Dustin Rose. The two NFC West, that's Chris Ripka, Kurt Warner, and George Kittle. Not to mention in the AFC South, Andre Johnson and Warren Moon. The NFC East, Dustin Rose for uh, the Michael Strahan. Wow. Dustin and Valerie have it pretty good right now, I would say, with those two spots. Everybody else, Heather, you're in the NFC South. Chris is in the NFC West, as mentioned. Michael Neiman, AFC North. JJ, AFC East. And then, yeah, we've got all the other ones. Valerie said, I've been at it all day without a win. The question is, did it all lead to this moment? Sometimes that's how it works, right? Sometimes that is how it works. Let's see. Box 19. It feels heavy, but I mean... It's authentic, so it should feel heavy. Your math is mathing. My math is mathing today. Come on, box. Grab it from the top here. There, there's somebody putting it all backwards. Could have been anybody. Could have been anybody. Oh. I've been at it all day without a win. Ooh. It has led to this moment, Valerie. Justin Herbert oh Chrome gosh. Speed Flex. Whoa. Look at that absolutely stunning visor. The lightning bolts inside of the lightning bolt. Oh my gosh. This thing is absolutely stunning. One of the coolest lids I've ever seen, actually. The, yeah. The Justin Herbert clips that are on there, too. The LA. Look at him on the visor. I mean, everything about this lid screams incredible. Incredible win. Valerie, two spots, 360 for both, taking home a chrome speed flex of one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. All you needed. That's it. That is it. That's sick. Love the lightning bolts. Oh, wow from Valerie. Wow from John. Love the visor. Nice hit. Sweet hit. Congrats. Uh, the hit, the I hit. would say. The hit. The hit. The hit tonight. That is unbelievable. Valerie. Nicely done, girl. Waited it out, made it happen, and you've got it. Justin Herbert. Incredible. Right. Oh, my gosh. Hey, thank you, Val. Look, you you were consistent. You stuck with it. it sounds like she you've been playing all day. Pretty much every break. Maybe she missed one or two, but she been, had a spot in every single one. So She went through it, man. Well earned, I would say. Absolutely. Well earned. Hey, this is great. It was worth it. I hope. I hope, anyway. The bolt up, too. Like, I love this. This visor is sick. Next level, I would call it. Next level visor here. Chargers across the back there. And the lightning bolts inside the lightning bolt. The blue pops. It's This is a really, really nice lid. Really, really nice lid. Valerie, congratulations. 
I know the Raiders probably don't love the Chargers, but I think I think you'll like the lid. But we're not done, Steven. We're not. She might get two speed flexes. Yeah, that's true. There's a world that exists. I mean, she's halfway there. She's halfway there. She's halfway in that world. In that what? World. Okay, that's what I thought you said. <laughs> <laughs> say, we'll just, say, say it again. Just say it again. <laughs> cool. <Quit. laughs> Stop being weird. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> All right. 29. 29? Sorry. 28. 20, 28. Yeah. I think so. Steven. That was Yeah. I thought I heard you say 28. I did say 28. It's been a long day for Steven. Yeah. But he's, been, he's been grinding. But it's 2 a.m., so. <laughs> Let's do the Luca. Craig said, I was hoping to get in before that one disappeared, right? There is still a flex out there, unless. 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 <laughs> unless. <laughs> we'll see what's in box 28. This this could be an all-timer for Valerie if it's two, two speed flexes coming at her. I think, I think the Fred Taylor had a visor. This one does not. So I don't think, I don't think we're going to get both flexes. Now I can tell you we're not. Dude, this guy, this guy... What did he say earlier before all that celebration? Where did he say that? JJ Jones, look at this message. Patriots filler time. Ty Law, okay. Patriots filler time. Okay. I don't know how this man calls his shots like this, but he's very good at it. Ty Law as a filler, AFC East, JJ Jones, JJ there you go. Sure. Wow, wow. Very well done. Right? That's the second time this week he's done that, at right. least with me. So, uh, random Patriots filler time. And not just random. I mean, Ty Law, again, headliner in our college series. Whenever we get him there, he's a headliner in jerseys, minis, whatever else. Just another guy in the diamonds. That's just how that works. Nice Herbert hit from Cup Fan. Yeah, that thing is next level. Who's left in the baseball mixer? Ryan, we're going to look at that right after I write this up. So let me write up JJ. And then uh, I'll show you what we have left, which I think is even better than telling. As the all-time cinema classic uh, Polar Express said, yeah. seeing is believing, right? Seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. Some people don't like that movie. I think it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. It's better than Home Alone. Okay. I see, where, I see your angle. All right. If, you're, if you were common, it would, this would not be going this well. <laughs> well, I'm throwing a curveball at you. I'm not going to argue with you. I like that. I'm sure you do. We'll have to change that. <laughs> <laughs> Valerie says, thank you again. Thank you, Val. And congrats again. I mean, that is, as I said, next level. That is next level. That thing is, oh, man. It's like the retro charger blue, too. It's, you know, just it's so beautiful. clean. It's it is one of those ones again. Like it looks great on camera. It looks better in person. It's yeah. just, it's stunning. It is stunning. Ty Law's a good hit too from Cub Fan. For anyone who loves the Pats or Cubs, willing to trade for sure or swap shipping if you hit this show. Uh, any chance that Herbert is up for trade? So Cub Fan's going after the Ryan Sandberg and the Justin Herbert. We'll see what happens. Speaking of Ryan Sandberg and baseball, and uh, Ryan Pizer, who is a massive baseball fan. This series is my next prediction for what's going to be taking off this show because the baseball series is still looking for some major players, including right there, smack dab in the middle, Mike Trout. Uh, Steven has called him a top 10 baseball player of all time. Because he is. Yeah, let me finish. It's hard to disagree. <laughs> Mike Trout, at least as long as I've been alive, has been probably the best baseball player I've ever seen play. And he's continuing that greatness now. And literally had the first home run of the 2024 season. Dude is absolutely excellent on that beautiful red baseball bat. The Slam Diego. Slam Diego Padre jersey of Fernando Tatis Jr. is still out there. We've got both photos. We're talking about a Cy Young winner in Garrett Cole and an NL MVP in Ronald Acuna Jr., two of the best players in the game today. Uh, triple crown winner, one of the best power hitters I've ever seen in Miguel Cabrera. 
We're still looking for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Speaking of power hitters, one of the best in the game right now. All-time great pitcher Tom Glavin with that stat jersey is still out there. And finally, Johnny Bench on the baseball. So it's a true mixer with baseball jerseys, bats, photos, baseballs, all sorts of goodies. Wouldn't be surprised to see a Funko Pop in there. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, a little bit of everything as far as headliners as well. That's two, four, six, eight photoed headliners in the baseball series with 23 boxes left. We're also still looking for Lance Berkman, Carlos Correa, and Bill Mazarowski. So I think it's, what, 11 in 23? Just about a 50% chance for the baseballs. So three to go in that baseball double. I'll go ahead and drop that in rubber if you would like it. Other than that, three to go in the one and four, five to go in that diamond single, six to go in the minis. Craig says the visor. Wow, right? It's stunning. It's next level. It is next level. The lightning within the charger emblem. It's a nice graphic touch there. I think so. It's next level, like I said. Uh, just because you've been playing the show 24 for 84 hours straight doesn't make you a scouting manager, bro. Uh, I did tell my friends last night I am, like, just, I'm, I'm addicted, basically, right now to MLB The Show 24. I mean, it's a fantastic game. I think I've put in over 40 hours already. Put in the full-time work on that one. Yeah. Well, that weekend my girlfriend was gone that week. It was, it was pretty easy to just, you know. You knocked a lot out. Watch basketball and play MLB The Show That's 24. That's the best yeah. grind ever, is just doing both of us. Michael Bennett said, should be a baseball single closed out. Yep, baseball singles up. Devils and Rangers game is Carnage. Eight ejections. Oh, my God. Yeah, they opened it up with a nice uh, fight. I like that. Wow. There's a baseball single. It is close. Why did you try crashing my PlayStation? I did see you shoot me messages while I was... Uh, I was I've gotten into GTA recently again, too. Getting some heists done with my friend. Baseball single. Cool. I am, no, I am certainly by no means a scout. I can't even tell you... Uh, all the teams in every division, so... With that being said... But now, me on the other hand, David, talking about a different beast. I'm a scout. Oh, yeah? I took a course once. <laughs> <laughs> it was online. Ran by some guy named Eduardo. No. Someone much different. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Heather Livingston, John Sutter, Nick Boyer, and half the spots here for Mr. Bennett. Drop me a number for baseball. Single number one. Appreciate the close, Mr. Bennett. Who are you after in the series, by the way? Mr. Trout? It's probably a good one. Ronald Acuna, probably a good one. Garrett Cole, that's not a bad one. Miguel Cabrera. Yeah, he's good too. Slam Diego, that's pretty sweet. Two? Two. John in there first with two. Do appreciate the call there from Mike as well, and he is after... Mike Trout. Michael Nelson? Michael Nelson for Michael Bennett, potentially. We'll see. Where are the Angels? They gotta be one of the West ones. Hey, and out West. Which one? <laughs> see, I can't tell if you're giving me a second chance right now. I didn't hear what you said. I said NL West. Uh, well, you're incorrect. AL West? Yes, the AL West. Shoot, I could have sworn they were in the AL. Or the NL. I don't know. I don't know. The Dodgers are the NL. Well, uh, fudge, you're right. If, if it is Mike Trout, it would be AL West, as I just First learned. of all. <laughs> and it would be Michael Bennett, who's also got the NL East, who's also got the AL East. The AL Central is Heather Livingston. I know if it's a White Sox, it's her. Uh, Nick Boyer, NL Central. If it's a Cub, it's him. And John Sutter, NL West. Here we go. Dodgers, Padres, Rockies, Giants, D-backs. NL West. See, the, the Giants are in California too, though, and they're in. I guess they're both Los Angeles, though. Yeah. The Dodgers. And, so there's just one of each. That's yeah, more the point. Yeah, because the Clippers are. Yep. In the the Eastern, Mets and Yankees. Yeah, they're yeah. all the Chicago teams. So. Yeah, yeah. You're getting it. You're getting it. It's hard. It's to starting to click. It's starting to do something. All right, we're gonna have to look at this bat. We're going to have to look. I'm not declaring a winner. 
I'm not declaring a winner, because I actually think I messed this one up on Monday. Okay. We have a bat. It's Rafael Palmero. Rafael Palmero. Great player. Sick bat. It's blonde. I like the blonde bats. Do we yeah, have anything? It has all of his career statistics on there. Okay, so career statistics on the Rafael Palmero bat, which means... It's going to go to tenure. It's going to go to tenure, which is the Texas Rangers. Ten years as a Texas Ranger for Rafael Palmero, Texas. See, this is where it's wrong. Texas is... Texas is central. Like, it's not an AL Central know, or NL Central, know, but if you are looking at the United States geographically, yes, yes, yes. it is right in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. There's no way it's east, so it has to be one of the wests. Okay. And I'm pretty sure I just got all the NL West named to me, so it has to be the AL West. <laughs> Michael Bennett in the AL West. The Rangers just won the World Series. You yeah, you know, did say that last year. You know, I think with this, too. Yeah, you, with, know, you don't know which side they represented, which better thing was. I didn't think that far. <laughs> <laughs> My first thought was geographically it's central. That's stupid. And then I didn't think about what actually happened. Oh, and speak of the devil, there is Bob. End of one, Rangers 2-0 after two seconds from the start of the game. Five fights broke out. Ten players got five-minute penalties for fighting. All ten got kicked out of the game with misconduct. Only two seconds from the start of the game. Wild. In one word, wild. That's pretty crazy, Bob. I bet that was fun to watch. Or terrifying to watch. I don't know. AL West on tenure. Thank you, Craig. And Ryan even put out all the AL West there. Oakland Angels, uh, Rangers, Astros, and M's? Mariners. That could be anybody, bro. Marlins. In the West, bro. <laughs> Who are you playing? Uh, what? I mean... Is, is Seattle, Washington in the West, or is Miami in the West? What? Ends, I'm just saying ends if could be want, any team. If you want to go geographical. He's okay. going geographical. So. All right, let me go geographical. Texas is in the middle of the United States. But it might be on the western side of the state. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> Let's talk about Rafael Palmero for a minute. Rafael <laughs> Palmero <laughs> has 3,000 hits... He's got 569 home runs, and he's got uh, 1,835 RBIs. I did not have to look at his pro baseball reference because yeah. all three of those inscriptions are right there on that blonde bat. It's pretty awesome. Started his career with the Chicago Cubs, obviously. Long tenure with Texas, Baltimore, Texas, and Baltimore. That's kind of crazy. Went Texas, Baltimore, Texas, Baltimore to end his career. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Four-time All-Star, three-time Gold Glover, two-time Silver Slugger. Not bad on Rafael Palmero. I got the Palmero on the other series. I probably didn't give it to you at first, though, Craig, if we're being honest. I probably crowned somebody else a winner. We are as decent as it gets, bro. LOL. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> not, not disagreeing. I'm not talking about geography anymore. I'm saying there are more than one team with the first letter M. You're not wrong in the literal sense. That's all. We don't have to. We don't have to add anything. I just. That's is fine. there only one other team that begins with them? Mariners, Mets. Maryland's, Maryland's, <laughs> Marlins, Mets. Who are in the NL East? And a boy. <laughs> Vote for the Rangers, please. It doesn't cost you anything. We're voting for the Rangers for what? I'm confuzzled. I'm gonna get my knowledge tested some more though, because we gotta make their double here in the baseball coming yes, up. We do. Go figure an Eagle fan don't know his divisions. Alright, Farrell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. Put him up. Let, let's just be in football, by the way. Dallas being in the NFC East doesn't make any sense either. Why are they they're all clumped up there and then Dallas is just <laughs> all the way in Texas? It makes no sense. No. It makes no sense. Bob throw a hot dog at someone. Let <laughs> the violence spill into the stands. Oh my god. <laughs> I do like the blonde bat batter too, Craig. I think it's a preference thing, but for me, I do like the blonde personally. Even though in my collection, I think I have a black one. Which, what are you gonna do? All right, uh, baseball mixer number two. Draw me two numbers for baseball. DB number two. We've got Dustin Rose, Dan Scapetta, Chris Kohler, J.J. Jones, Leighton Jones, and Alex Dreyer. Get it. He did. 12 and 22. 12 and 
Get it. <laughs> a lot of numbers. I was asking you to get another flag. Five and twenty-three coming out from Chris. Twenty-six from Dan. Twelve and twenty-two. But it is twelve and twenty-two. Rafael Palmero, obviously a filler there. Did I write that up? I don't think I wrote that up. Just a group of people over here. Oh, yeah, let me write that up real quick. You can, you can take them away. Michael Bennett, congratulations again, my man. Dynasty. He's mine too. <laughs> for now. For now. Oh, for now. Yeah. Actually, I don't think he is. He, I'm just, I'm grinding that, whatever oh, division yeah. that is. In, it is a grind. Yeah. I don't think so, Anthony. And if it does, um, contact customer service. I know Valerie is having the same issue, Mr. Zimmerman, so. Go ahead and reach out to customer service. Obviously, they're gone for the day today, but I would shoot them an email. Generally speaking, they'll check, make sure that you are supposed to have it. If the code's not working, they'll just disable that code and send you a new one, and that one should work. That generally solves it. So uh, nothing I can do right now, but tomorrow, reach out to them, and they will, they'll, they'll fix it up for you. That goes for Valerie, too, and anybody else that's having that issue. Don't worry, y'all will beat us down this season. It's fair all I can hope, but I don't know, man. I'm, I am I still like Dallas as far as their team. We'll see. We will see. You got it, man. No problem. I'm just, I'm a big CD fan, even though I'm not as far as him playing for the Cowboys, but I do like CD Lamb. I don't know who's going to run the football there, though. I still haven't gotten any answers on that. Who's going to be the running back? All right, Dan, you got the AL East, Alex, AL Central, Dustin, AL West, JJ, NL East, Chris Kohler, NL Central, Leighton Jones, NL West. Box 12. In the baseball. The baseball. Marlins time, says JJ. All right. All right. All right. We have this. My first thought was a mini helmet. I don't think it is. It's a baseball. Ah. This is a cool looking ball, man. I like signed baseballs, man. We got Jose Conseco. Oh, okay. A little Jose Conseco baseball coming out of here. Jose Conseco, obviously a fun career for him. I believe most. <laughs> yes, he was. I believe most of those years were with the Oakland A's, which is the West. Yes, yes, of the... <laughs> Completely froze. Okay, where are the Giants? They're in the NL. Okay, but they're in the same city. They're, being, they're a bridge separate. So they're the AL West. <laughs> Boy. That was going to be my guess, but then I was just waiting for you to go... <laughs> Jose Canseco. I mean, he was an MVP, man. Exactly. Stud. Two World Series, four time Silver Slugger, six time All Star, Rookie of the Year. Uh, you'd think he'd be Canton bound, but there there might be reasons why he's not. Yeah. yeah. I like the baseballs, though, man. That's cool. I gotta get an autograph ball. Got the Beckett cert on the other side. Uh, Dustin Rose. Nice hit, man. On Jose Canseco. Gotta be one in there somewhere, says JJ. All right. Uncle Rico. Uncle Rico's gonna be running the football. That's actually scary. Y'all are probably gonna go undefeated if that's the case. First thing that pops in my mind when hearing Canseco is, yep, <laughs> the home run off of his head. <laughs> that, uh, that was a moment. No doubt that was a moment. In time. I mean, it's one when you're looking up just baseball bloopers like you do. That one, that one certainly pops up. I don't think that's how you spell his name, but what are you going to do? Close enough. I think it's uh, Canseco, not Conseco. Like Wilson, Colin Travis. Yeah, exactly. 
Sorry, Jose. <laughs> anyway, next. 22. Mr. Dragger calling these ones out. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Ha. Well, based on what we saw last time, I think I know what this is. Okay. It is another base bowl. Oh! I think it's the baseball! Let me get out. Oh, yeah. Look at all this ink on the great Johnny Bench. Baseball coming out. Very nice on Johnny Bench. Headliner hit here for the great catcher. Long time Cincinnati Red. Chris Kohler, NL Central. Taking down Johnny Bench. Right, nice hit. I mean, a lot of people argue he's the best of all time at that position. Is he? I don't know. But he's up there. He's got two MVPs and 14 All-Stars and 10 Gold Gloves. I think that's a good start. It's a great start. <laughs> two World Series, a World Series MVP to go along with it. Almost 400 home runs for Johnny Bench. Almost 1,400 RBIs for Johnny Bench. That is not a bad career for my man. Love that. Good Lord, that is just... Puts a lot of ink Isn't in that it? little space. Chris, congratulations, man. Jahani. Jahani. There's a way we can... I guess we could... Now we'll just throw them away. <laughs> so Johnny Bench. The last baseball headliner hit, as far as the actual physical baseball. Still have a ton of actual baseball headliners. Mike Trout, Ronald Acuna, Fernando Tatis, Miguel Cabrera, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Tom Glavin, Garrett Cold. Good Lord. A lot. A lot. But Chris, congratulations there on Johnny Bench. Break that up. Here's Johnny, he says. <laughs> I like that. I like that. There he was indeed. So I think we've done five now. And we've only pulled one, two baseball headliners in those five. So we're down to 20 and we have 10 headliners left. So it's exact 50% chance in the baseball series. And we're already one to go on the next double. So Let's that'll go. probably be happening. I'll go ahead and get that closer magic in the baseball double. We are still looking for Mike Trout again here. I'll show flash the graphics so you guys can see it. The Mike Trout baseball bat there in the center. Both of the photos, Garrett Cole, Ronald Acuna, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. on that black bat, the Tom Glavin jersey, and the Slam Diego jersey of Fernando Tatis Jr. We're also still looking for the three listed guys, Lance Berkman, Carlos Correa, and Bill Mazarowski. So let's get the college, or excuse me, the uh, baseball double closed up. I'm sure I'll be closed in a moment's notice. Moments notice. Put this back on the screen. Our hit of the show today, and what else could it be? For being completely honest, the thing was absolutely gorgeous. Speaking of baseball, it's closed. It's closed. <laughs> Speaking of the San Diego Padres, they beat the St. Louis Cardinals today, three to two. Fernando Tatis Jr. and RBI in that game. Slam Diego. Well, they only had three runs. <laughs> it was not quite Slam Diego yeah, no, it was today, not. but <laughs> three nothing Royals. By the way, uh, throwing a one hitter currently against the Baltimore Orioles. The Orioles, are, the Royals are upstart. Okay, they have young pitching, young players. They're just they're wily. I had them plus half a run in the first inning, but it didn't matter since the Yankees. Then the Dodge or Diamondbacks did me dirty. Did you dirty indeed? They'd be coming down to uh, the Cubs, I think, winning. What do you think? That's it. That's it. That would have been the last leg. Wow. Michael Bennett, Nick Boyer, Ryan Pizer. Here we go. Drop me two numbers for baseball. Double number three. This is going to put us at 18 left in the baseball series. Let's see if we have 10 headliners left or if we only have eight. Or we could have nine options. 
17 and 26, the classic Michael Bennett 26 box call coming out in the baseball. Good luck, guys. Mike, Nick, and Ryan. Six clicks. There we go. All right. Ryan Pizer is in the AL West. Nick Boyer is in the NL Central. Mike, you have the rest. The AL East, the AL Central, the NL East, and the NL West. 17 and 26 incoming for the Base Bowl. L Base Bowl. Trout, Acuna, Tatis, Miggy, Guerrero Jr., Garrett Cole. Excellent, excellent names. Let's get it going here with box 17. Baseball's back. Baseball's back. In a big way. Okay. We have a bat signed by Mike oh, Trout. There it is. Oh, baby. A signed bat of Mike Trout. Oh. I have been given my lesson. This is the ALS, right? Yes, sir. Ryan Pizer. One spot in the double. Wow. <laughs> this bat is stunning. Stunning. <laughs> LFG, he says, dude. Whoa. Dude, Whoa. This bat is long. Look at this. That old hickory, the 27 goat in there. Whoa. 33.5 pro maple Mike Trout. If you spin it over here. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's got all his MVPs listed on there as well. It says 2014, 2016, 2019. It's a two-toned bat. Oh, my God, dude. This thing is this thing's next level. Like the Justin Herbert. Next level here. Unbelievable, man. Ryan Pizer. That's, uh, that's, that's the new the hit, yeah. I would say. I don't know, man. I might rather have the bat, if I'm being honest. As a baseball fan. That that's, is that's what I would want. Sweet from Mike. That is slick from Chris. Come on, Ryan, give it up to the box collar, says Michael. God, these old hickory bats are sweet. And when it's signed by, I mean, literally one of the best players of all time, maybe the best player we've ever seen play. It is uh it's pretty special. So nicely done, Ryan. Congratulations. Mike Trout. There's a lot that I would, but he is one of the few I wouldn't. I mean, yeah, this is for a baseball collector, I mean, you got you got to have Mike Trout, right? I would right. think. Mm. Well, he's uh, he's hanging out. Yeah, he's gonna be on this. He's gonna be the hit video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, think. Let's see what else we got though. It's not over, guys. This is a double. We got twenty six here. We have a listed headliner here. Congratulations. You have won a signed bat of uh, Bill Mazarowski. Bill Mazarowski baseball bat. Okay. Here. I see you. 56 to 72, Bill Mazarowski. All spent with the Pittsburgh Pirates. And El Central. Wow, this is unfortunate. It's a double snipe. Uh, Nick Boyer. Taking it down. Oh, that's a great description. What's he got? Oh. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> Let's go ahead and show it off. 1960s World Series game winning home run inscription. You talk about a little piece of history. How about this one for Bill Mazarowski? Good little signature, too, there, Nick. So nicely done, both of you guys. Couple of nice headliners coming out. In the baseball and in, or the baseball, but Mike Trout and Bill Mazarowski says, thanks guys, you got it. You got it. Hall of Famer, 10-time All-Star, 8-time Gold Glover, 2-time World Series champion, and 
Obviously, as you can see by the description, a massive part of one of those World Series for Mr. Mazarowski. We gotta get some Mike Trout stats, just for fun. Just because we don't get it very often. I know we've had Trout before, but I don't know if we've ever had him on a bat quite like that. No, that bat is nuts. Three MVPs, nine Silver Sluggers, 11 All-Stars, uh, two-time All-Star MVP, he was a Rookie of the Year. Batting a career 301 with an 85.2 war. Mike Trout. Yeah. Stud. Something light. <laughs> Something light. That was, uh, that was some pretty good box calling there, Mike. I know it didn't really go your way, unfortunately, on the W side, but, boy, you called two heck of boxes. There's no doubt about that. All right, let's drop in the live breaks page, guys. Let's... Take a moment, a collective breath here, and see what else we've got going on with everything else at Ultimate Autographs. Starting with the diamonds here, the double box break. We did pull that Justin Herbert, but we still have a Hydro Speed Flex hiding out there in the form of the great Fred Taylor. I believe, how many of these have we done? Four? We've done two So doubles. far, four, yeah. So we're down to 13 boxes with four headliners, including... A Fred Taylor flex, Aiden Hutchinson, Kurt Warner, and George Kittle. You can still double up with Kurt Warner and George Kittle in the NFC West. Not to mention in the AFC South. It's got Fred Taylor. But then look at the rest of this. Warren Moon and Andre Johnson both still out there. I'm assuming both of those are going to end up being uh, AFC South hits. And then we've also got Michael Strahan. So the double up opportunities in the diamond still very much alive and well. Let's keep it up in the double box break. Eight to go in the double, five to go in the single. Four to go in our next baseball rounding third baseball mixer. We have done quite a bit of these now. I believe we're down to like 18. And we have Slam Diego, San Diego Padre jersey of Fernando Tatis, the stat jersey of Tom Glavin, Garrett Cole, Ronald Acuna, Miguel Cabrera, and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That is one two, three, four, five, six photoed headliners still out there in the final 18. That's a one in three chance there, not to mention Lance Berkman and Carlos Correa making it closer to a 50% chance at a headliner in the baseball. Four to go in the double, five to go in the single. For the vault, we have the Lunar Speed Flex with three inscriptions of Adrian Peterson with that purple visor. That thing is gorgeous, still out there in the final 14, not to mention two photoed headliners of replica helmets in the NFC East you can double up with. Michael Irvin and Lawrence Taylor. We still have three listed headliners as well with uh, Fran Tarkenton, Eric Dickerson, and Chris Olave. Moving down the list, the one and four. Three to go in the one and four right now. Uh, that's in the single. There's 12 boxes left, six headliners. Dale Earnhardt Jr., the Five Sig Miami Knights Authentic. Again, that is Michael Irvin, Warren Sapp, Andre Johnson, Ray Lewis, and Frank Gore. Uh, the Lakers triple signed of James Worthy, Jerry West, and Magic Johnson. The Celtics triple signed of Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish, and Larry Bird. And that Nolan Ryan jersey also still out there. For five photo headliners, J.J. Watt, the sixth headliner there in the listing a six and twelve chance at a headliner in the one and four the jerseys the jerseys i believe we've done one of these so seven to go there we pulled the fred warner so tyree kill Deion sanders and terrell davis those are the three headliners left in the final seven but we've also got a frank gore jersey in the listing for a four and seven chance at a headliner in the jerseys 27 dollars a spot uh, for a chance at one of those, that's pretty good. Diamond single is $90, five to go there. And then in the mini series, new mini series ready after this one closed, JJ's asking. Good time for that. The answer is yes. We do have a mini series ready to go as soon as this one's done. This is the final double box break here in the mini for $47. No headliners left, so no, no need to even really click on the graphic. But it is the chase today, so once we get these... Once we get these last five boxes or last five spots done for those last two boxes, uh, we'll put up a brand new mini helmet series. 
It's been a pretty electric first hour and a half, though, I gotta say. Uh, yeah. Electric, quite literally, when we're talking about the Justin Herbert chrome speed flex, but then also that Mike Trout baseball bat. I mean, Oof. so two two pretty big-time hits Those here. Those are the two big-time hits, for sure. Two I think that would hits. be the video tonight. If, Nothing if we, changes. If we, if, we were, if we were tired right now. All right, goodbye, everyone. <laughs> So guys, what do we want to tackle next? We are like five or so to go on a lot of breaks, so just continue to attack that break page and we will keep it going. But yeah, Justin Herbert, gonna be curious to see who's gonna be catching those 4,000 yards worth of passes from him next year. Yeah, someone's got to, right? Someone's got to. Oh, two runs for the Orioles all of a sudden. You hyped up the Royals too much. And now they're coming back. They're spunky. <laughs> they're spunky. Think the Cubs are up one nothing? I don't doubt it. Bush. Who the yeah, heck was nice. that? Christian I think Christian Rose scored the run though. He did. Yeah. Good for the fantasy. And, and on the single. We nice. need RBIs from him though. We need RBIs from him. Need the RBIs. Competitive game, by the way, in that Rangers and Devils game. It is two to one. Ten ejections, <laughs> according to Bob. <laughs> Five from each team. That is unbelievable. Ten ejections. After that, like as a better, I'm just like, do you, do you bet the under or <laughs> over after that? Like, is it gonna be? Because they're putting guys in that don't usually play. But with that being said, is it like the defense gonna be worse or is the offense right. gonna be worse? Or I guess a combination of both. The real question. That is the real question. The Angels absolutely unloaded on the 0-7 Marlins. Sorry, right, JJ. Uh, tough Look up get. the video. Awesome. I, I'll have to. I, I can't right now. It's on Twitter. Lord, I'm it done. a wild time. Old school line brawl, he said. Oh, actually, here, they've got it on. I think I've got it on ESPN. Wait for it to play. There's a 30-second ad, <laughs> so uh, i got to wait on that. Ads always be killing the mood. Killing the vibe. Killing the vibe. No vibes being killed here, though. Can't be, with all that's left. I mean, jerseys are one that I feel like should be done pretty easily with. Tyree Kill and Terrell Davis and Deion Sanders still out there in only seven boxes. Right. I know we pulled the trout, but... Ronald Acuna, Garrett Cole, Miggy, just to name a few, still in that baseball series. We got two flexes in the room with Adrian Peterson and Fred Taylor. Not a bad look. Oh, here we go. Now they're brawling. I wonder how it ensued. How did how did ten people decide we're all gonna we're all gonna scrap within the first two seconds of the game? Do, do you think like they talked about it before? Uh, maybe some. I don't know. Maybe something happened in the last meeting between them. Where you just kind of knew this was going to yeah, happen. Yeah, you were just like boiling over. Imagine that's like your first hockey game you ever went to. <laughs> you're just like, wow. Wow, this is how it all goes down. This is how it goes. What a great cut by the Wi-Fi right there. The Wi-Fi? Yeah, the Wi-Fi cut out the uh, Celtics, the Celtics uh, Thunder game, and Kristaps pulled up, <laughs> and then it cut out, and then he starts he's jogging backwards because he hit it. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if it was like the opposite. Yeah, <laughs> and it was like the other guys like were celebrating a three, and you're like, what the? Well, what? one of these wild ones, I have him going for thirty, so he's got seventeen right now. It's not even half. I. Well, I'm guessing since you described it as one of these wild ones. <laughs> There's probably a lot more that also has to happen outside of him scoring 30. Uh, Davis, 35. Oh, you got him written down. Wagner, 25. And Allen, 20 points. Grayson Allen? Grayson Allen. Oh, boy. I mean, he can do it. He can. He's just got to hit his shots, right? That's what it always comes down to. Big win for the Warriors yesterday over your son's team. Luka Doncic and yeah. the Mavs. We're just coasting. Cruising. Cruising through the streets. Freaking and vibing. That's very accurate. 
Was that the year, uh... What the... What was his name? What's his, why can't I think of his name? Why can't I think of his name? Okay. He's in all the Capital One commercials with Charles Barkley and... The direct... The producer. It's always at the mixed games. Oh, Spike, Spike Lee. Lee. Spike Lord. Lee. I could not think of Spike Lee's name for the life of me. And he made it, like, Spike. extremely cinematic. And it was just like, wait, I killed someone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did I... Did I kill someone? <laughs> it's like, I'm trying to just play a basketball game here. Right. <laughs> oh, man. You guys don't know. We're talking about NBA 2K. I don't even remember what year it was. Oh, 2K16 was a wild time. Is that what it was? 2K16? Yeah. Yeah, I remember being in college when it happened, and I was just like, what is going on here? Which one of these would you guys rather have? I mean... Obviously, it probably depends on your fandom, right? I mean, if you're a football fan, you might rather have that uh, that Justin Herbert. But, I mean, we're talking about maybe the GOAT. I mean, he's got it right there on that 27. That is just a beautiful bat. Right. I go back and forth, man, honestly. The old hickory. The old hickory dickory dock. I don't know, man. Honestly, I do love the blue. I mean, it just depends on what sport you you really love the most. What do you want to, you know, what's easier to display? That helmet is. But if you're a baseball fanatic, then that's a yes, please. <laughs> that that bat's a must have. JJ said, "Yeah, my Marlins always lose the day after the close the dome. Weird happening." Well, I'll keep that one in the back pocket <laughs> in case they close. Well, they've lost every game, so they close the roof every day. You think someone would put a Knicks on that, right? <laughs> yeah, right. We're keeping it open. I, I don't, don't care, care if it's raining. <laughs> We're not doing this. Yeah, but it's pouring. I don't care. <laughs> we gotta win a game. Clearly, closing the roof is a problem. Yeah, I don't know. I think Mike Trout's obviously the bigger name too, but. Yeah, it's such a specialty bat. Yeah, but you don't know what that could become either. That's true. He's a bigger name. Dot dot dot. Well, uh, you know, Sundays they just own the day of the week. They do. It's truly, truly impressive. Speaking of owning days, I saw the uh, Iowa LSU game for women's college basketball was the biggest college basketball game in uh, the NCAA they've ever had on ESPN. Really? Yeah, they've never had more viewers than that one go crazy it's the rare times we open it that hurt just leave it closed all the time he said so where do we want to go ladies and gentlemen it's 7 31 got all the time in the world got nowhere to be steven hasn't been here all day he's not eager to go home he likes it here i do like it here i think he wants to go back to a crying child probably he's not necessarily crying he probably loves him I do love him. You can bring him here sometime. He can crawl around and, you know, throw he, bats. He requires and... a lot of maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> that story you told me where he just <laughs> ended up under the couch. <laughs> Halfway. He wasn't completely under the couch. <laughs> You're just like, what happened in the two <laughs> seconds I was gone? <laughs> nasty Herbert, right? I mean, it's we're not done with the nastiness still. I mean, that Fred Taylor's still out there. All right? Look at your Fred. Hydro Speed Flex of the best running back in Jaguars history. Kurt Warner still out there as well. That could be doubled up with George Kittle. Um, we're also still looking for that camo to Aiden Hutchinson. Fred Taylor nasty too, right? I don't know if we have a video of that one. We do. Here it is. Oh, baby. The slow-mo video. Look at the... I like the green, though. That pops. Kind of got the green outline on here, too. All right, there's a little bit more to this than I thought. That's pretty sweet. Not just a black hydro. We got some green accents on it as well. Pretty nice, man. Two to go in that one and four. I'll go ahead and drop that in there. That's probably going to be our next break. Boom, boom. Again, in the one and four, Nolan Ryan, Dale Earnhardt Jr., the Five Sig Miami, the Lakers triple sign, the Celtics triple sign, and the J.J. Watt all still available in that one and four. 
Two to go there. Three to go on the diamond single. Three to go on the diamond single. Already, excuse me, showed it off. Warner, Hutchinson, Fred Taylor, George Kittle. I'll drop that one in there as well. $90, any of those helmets, well worth it. By the way, the fillers we pulled, one still on the desk. That's how good it is. Luke Keekley. And then we pulled Ty Law as well. We've had some sick fillers in the diamonds, as we always do. As we always do. So let's keep it rolling, everybody. Four to go in the mini helmets. I'll drop that link in there as well. These three breaks, probably the next three that'll be coming up. The minis are the chase today. Uh, that's the last mini break of the old series. The new series will be available as soon as that one closes. But if that's the only one we do, it's only going to be eight names in that chase. And we don't know what the hot division is because we don't know what's left. One to go in that one and four. One to go in the one and four. Let's get it. Four in the uh, baseball double, too. Again, guys, the Slam Diego Fernando Tati still out there. The Tom Glavin stat jersey. Vlad Jr. on the black bat. Garrett Cole and Ronald Acuna Jr. on the photos. Miguel Cabrera all still out there. Some great headliners. Great headliners. But who wants that closer magic for the one and four? Our favorite series in the room, outside of maybe diamonds, because right. you got pretty sick stuff like this. Although, to be fair, that one in four did have a two-tone chrome Patrick Mahomes speed flex. That's true. Things. I'm a blue guy, though. Like, I'm not saying I'd rather have this than the Patrick Mahomes, but, like, if we're just talking aesthetics, right. I'd, I'd consider it. Uh, if we're talking just the look of the helmet alone, yeah, that opens up the conversation completely. Like, the red and yellow is sweet, but I don't know. The blue and gold. These are my high school colors too, so I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit biased. That's fair. It's always a contributing factor. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's what I saw. They they broke a lot of other records too. That uh, that game. The uh, Iowa and LSU, and now I just saw Angel Reese is declared for the draft. So that'll be fun. She's going pro. And, of course, the tournament's not over. We still got a big game going on between Paige Beckers and uh, Caleb Clark, Clark coming up on Friday. Probably, probably for the right to play South Carolina in the championship. I mean, you never know. I mean, North, Carol well, North Carolina State, they've been, uh, both in the men and women's tournaments, been, been breaking some hearts and making some dreams come true for the people that root for them. It'll be interesting to see what happens in both. Did we, uh, who's left, by the way? Do we have it updated on the... Yes, I did have it at the final four. Yeah, the final four, because these people have already won money. Which is pretty awesome. So Brett's actually already got two gift cards then coming their way. And probably didn't figure North Carolina State was going to be one of them. Right. But Alabama and there's maybe neither one of these, but Chelsea with Purdue, Pete with UConn. That's pretty good. So Brett, what at worst has is it five hundred dollars? Is it two fifty, five hundred, and a thousand? Is that what we said? Uh, no, seven fifty. I can't remember what well, we said. I thought seven fifty, five hundred, one fifty for file four. That might be right. Yeah. So three hundred at least. Yeah. If one can go all the way. Well, it, it, Brett's dream scenario, right, is North Carolina State somehow upsets Purdue. Yeah. And Alabama somehow upsets UConn. Somehow. Somehow. And then, <laughs> I mean, they're going to get first and second. True. But uh, all these guys. I don't see and girls UConn game. losing. I don't either, man. They're so dominant. They've beaten every team they've played by more than 15 points since right. their tournament, which is just unheard of. Mm -hmm. Unprecedented. They've just dominated everyone in their way. So four to go in the jerseys now as well. Three in the minis, three in the diamonds, four in the jerseys, one in the one and four, four in the double box break for the baseball series. So got a lot of breaks on deck. Just need some closers now, speaking of baseball. All right. Two to go in the diamond single. Two to go in the diamond single. We have how many? Three, six, 13. eight, thirteen. We have 
clarify that for us? Because there's nothing behind those three boxes in the front there. Good question. Kevin Bell says, what happens if all slots don't fill up for an item? So we, basically the short answer is, if they don't fill up tonight, we have another show tomorrow at noon, and all those spots just carry over. So we do live fills, three shows every single day, 12, 3, and 6 p.m. Central Time. So yeah, I mean, hypothetically speaking, which I don't think it'll happen, but if that one and four doesn't fill, for example, it stays at one spot to go, it just flips over to tomorrow at noon, and uh, whoever's working that show, they'll break it right then and there for you. But uh, what break are you in, Kevin? Because I, I can probably try to help push people that direction. Maybe we can get it done. But Kevin's in the vault single. Kevin's in the vault single. So, guys, how about Kevin in the vault single? Let me drop that in there. Kevin, who's the team first and foremost? But in this vault single, guys, that Adrian Peterson Lunar Speed Flex is still in play. One of two Speed Flexes we still have in play. I mean, this desk can still get shaken up big time. If we can get both of those out. Not to mention a double up opportunity, Michael Urban, Lawrence Taylor. Uh, we still have Chris Olave, Fran Tarkenton, and Eric Dickerson as well. There's a double up as well. I mean, Fran Tarkenton and the uh, that speed flex, Adrian Peterson. Vikings fans, that's a good one. But in the single, just 84 bucks guaranteed full size coming out. Plus, we still have a vault key. The floor on the vault, I think, is like 50 bucks, which I think they've already one, hit. Yeah. So, somewhere in the middle. Probably a hundred. Not a bad break to play. Yeah, all full size. And then Adrian Peterson still out there, lurking around. Still lurking around. I'm just hoping for any. It's my first time trying this. Might end up getting addicted. I have a good college collection so far. Nice, Kevin. All right, so just hoping for any. Do you have a favorite team in the NFL? Um, but with that being said, college, a lot of times they just randomly pop up in our series, but we also have an entire series every now and then, a specialty series as we call it, that's literally just dedicated to college. We actually have one in the back, so it'll be coming up here soon. Um, so if you want to keep growing your college collection, this is a good place to be in. We have six spot conference breaks, which at some point are going to have to get updated when the new, uh, teams move to their new places in college football, but six spot college conference breaks we usually do well, looks like the Orioles came back and walked it off on them good humble those boys <laughs> gosh four three Orioles my adopted team that's fair four nothing my non-adopted team Taking care of business. Actually, there was one other leg. Let me see if that hit. It might not have even started yet. Or maybe it got postponed. Did the Astros not play today? They're playing right now. 0 0. It would have hit. I had no run first inning. Oh, yeah. For the Astros and Blue Jays. Darn, dude. If uh, it was literally, I don't know who was playing first for the Cubs, but literally. Not Cubs. The Yankees, if they would have held on to the ball when they were tagging the runner, it's a completely different story for me. Kyle's in a much better mood. More cheerful. <laughs> it's just a great night. <laughs> yeah, right. Instead, oh, I'm excellent. Just... Really excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Three to go in the minis. Two to go in the diamond single. Two to go in the jerseys. One to go in the one and four. I mean, look at this, guys. Right on the doorstep of four breaks. This one unlocks a completely new series, and it's the chase. This one still has a Hydro Speed Flex and a guaranteed Authentic. This one has some of the best headliner odds in the room. And this one is your best odds for just one spot of winning. I mean, every single one of them has appeal of playing and should be bought into and should be closed sooner rather than later. Yep, we're going to be doing a jersey. Jersey's first, then. Joyzy. Joyzy. It was not pretty and joyzy tonight. They, went at, they got after it. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. All right. Yeah, this is a good series. 
Here it is. Play action jersey number two. Tom Glennon, Frank Evans, Paul Brady, Aaron Wilburn, and Heather Livingston. Drop me a number. Four jersey. Number two. Seven left, four headliners, including Tyree Kill, Terrell Davis, and Deion Sanders. It's not bad. We got four, five, six, ten, eleven, twelve, and twenty-six. Any will do. Otherwise, we'll probably randomize them with only with only seven. Or we'll just do Frank's number with number five. Donovan McNabb, let's do it. That settles that. That settles that. Is that that, Mr. That's that? Ooh, Trey also wanted five, although I don't think uh, Trey's in the break. We should be right back. I was too excited about Bill Mazarowski. He, he did hit a walk-off. Yeah, it was the inscription that got me. Right? It's, it's getting worse. Get Nick written up, and then we'll to get the jersey randomized. There we go. Back on over. Tom, Frank, Paul, Aaron, and Heather. Is that the Trey Lance, by the way? Shout out. You're in our break room sometimes, my man. On South Dakota State lids. Speaking of college. Six clicks. Aaron, you are in the NFC North. Heather is in the NFC South. Tom is in the NFC East. We've got Paul in the NFC West. Uh, Frank AFC North. Tom AFC South. Frank AFC East. And Heather AFC West. So Tyree Kill, that would be going to Frank. Primetime would be going to Tom. Terrell Davis would be going to Heather. And Frank Gore could be on, well, anything. Could be a San Francisco jersey, Indianapolis jersey, Buffalo Bill jersey. I don't know. But well, we're going to find out if he's in here. Box number five, good luck. This is a four and seven chance. We've got one of those guys I just named. And instead, we have a filler hit here, Steven. Oh, wow. So the odds get even better. This is a good player, though, an all-time legend at his position on an all-time legendary offense as well. We got the great Charlie Joyner, part of that Air Coriel Chargers offense. Great autograph, too, by Charlie Joyner. Really takes his time with it. Great receiver, AFC West, Heather Livingston. There you go, Heather. There you go, Heather. Charlie Joyner. Super nice guy, Charlie Joyner, too, by the way. That's always good. Sweet man. Told a lot of stories of his heyday. Yeah, quite the heyday. Yes, he did. Playing with Dan Fouts and Kellen Winslow. And an incredible offense back in the day. I like the old school jersey, too. I mean, anything Chargers, as we know, right next to it. It's been a good day for Chargers. So Charlie Joyner down. Six jerseys left. Four headliners left. It's only two things we don't know in the jerseys. Got a fresh jersey series ready to go as well once we get that one closed up. So as mentioned, we could have, I mean, fresh diamonds here soon, fresh minis here soon, and fresh jerseys here soon. If we play our cards right. Right. Try not to touch the auto and get... Mr. Joyner back in. Heather, congratulations there. Good player. Good filler jersey, I would say, for 27. Take that. Noise. Noise, noise. So what's next, guys? The minis, the diamonds, or the one and four? All very close. All should be ripped here uh, within the next few minutes, I would think. See, so heading back over here, one to go in the one and four. Don't be the one that sleeps on that closer magic. You miss out literally on magic. And that Lakers signed ball, James Worthy, Jerry West, 
Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish, five sigs here, Michael Irvin, Warren Sapp, Andre Johnson, Ray Lewis, Frank Gore, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. There's only 12 boxes left, five photoed headliners, and J.J. Watt's still out there as well. Could be that closer magic spot. It's been open for a while. You're just like, oh, I don't know. Should I pull the trigger? I really want that one item. And then somebody else sneaks in, gets the closer magic. They end up getting the item. They're like, why the heck didn't I get in? That was silly. Right. Happens. One to go in the diamond single. I mean, maybe even on a larger scale. We're talking about a speed flex in play here. You don't want to be the one to miss out on that. That beautiful hydro speed flex of Fred Taylor, Aiden Hutchinson, Kurt Warner. All still out there as well. George Kittle. Still, what, four photoed headliners in the Diamonds? It's not bad. Three listed as well. And Andre Johnson, Warren Moon, and Michael Strahan. So one to go in both of those. Three to go in the minis. $47 a spot. But again, that is the, uh, that's the last break. Last break of that old illegal tampering mini series. You get your name into the Chase Wheel Spin. And you unlock the new mini helmet series that is in the room, ready to go, ready to drop as soon as we close that one up. Already got a spot knocked off into the next jersey. Again, for the jerseys, guys. Four headliners left in the last six boxes, and they're pretty big. Tyree Kill on the teal jersey, the beautiful Dolphins. I think it's Aqua, technically, is what we found out. It's an Aqua jersey. Aqua. Deion Sanders as well. That would have been a fun matchup back in the day if Tyree Killeber lined up against Deion Sanders. And then Terrell Davis. So those are the three photo headliners still out there. I mean, you're looking at the ones around it. You could argue those are like three of maybe the top five best jerseys in the series as a whole. And they're all still out there with only six boxes left. Not to mention Frank Gore is a listed headliner. So only two jerseys we don't know. The other four, all headliners. Let's do a diamond single. More authentics. I demand. I like it. Maybe another speed flex. Put it on the desk. Dethrone the Keekly. Valerie's got the closer magic. Thank you, Val. Gisela's got the opener magic. She's got the first spot in there. Michael Neiman, Heather Livingston, Michael Otrando. What's up, Michael? Mark Stoner and Brian Maresca. Drop. Drop. Me a number four diamond single number one. First come, first serve, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, let us know. They're scrolling right now, right over there. Two through four, 11, 16, 18, 21, 24, 29 through 33. After that, I'm guessing a one and four. After that, I'm guessing a mini. Probably another jersey after that. Wouldn't be surprised to see the jerseys go at this rate. Wouldn't be surprised to see the diamonds go at this rate either. We don't see right. that Fred Taylor, Kurt Warner, the Hutchinson camo. Does anybody want to call a box? Otherwise, uh, we can go to the randomizer or the wheel, whichever. Kind of that weird spot where you're like, like 13 or so? Do I put 13 numbers in the randomizer? Or <laughs> Man, do I fair question, fair question. I might have to find out. I think I'm going to spin. Spin, bat, wheel. Last call, 31. Michael said, all right, all right, I'll step up. I'll step up to the plate. He's got 31. So 31 going off. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Neiman. Thank you, Mr. Ryan. Here we go. Good luck, guys and girls. Six clicks. Six. Michael is in the Aiden Hutchinson camo spot in the NFC North. Gisela is in the NFC South. Valerie in the NFC East. We still got Michael Strahan out there. 
Uh, NFC West for Heather. Still looking for George Kittle and Kurt Warner. AFC North for Michael Otrondo. Brian Maresca in the AFC South. Looking for Warren Moon. Looking for Andre Johnson. And, of course, looking for the Hydro Speed Flex, Fred Taylor. Mark Stoner, AFC East. Michael Otondro, AFC West. 31 of 35 coming up in the Diamond Helmets. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get it all the way. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's hard to get out. What does that mean? We'll find out. Oh. Who are you? A guy that had a great season last year. Maybe the best game at his position last year. Amari oh, Cooper. Wow, there you go. Amari Cooper, Lunar Authentic. Cleveland Browns, AFC North, two spots in the break. Michael Otondro, you are getting Amari Cooper. Really nice, really nice hit. Amari Cooper, yeah, great year last year. Despite losing uh, Deshaun Watson, he still made do and helped out anybody that was at the quarterback position, and he's been doing that his entire career, whether yeah. it was in Oakland slash Vegas, uh, whether it was in Dallas or with the Cleveland Browns. The guy has proved time and time again, he makes the quarterbacks that's passing the ball better and again just another example of a really nice filler because he has been a headliner before in jerseys minis reps you name it amari cooper michael congratulations nice hit right there awesome thanks first win good one brother it's a real good first win right there very good first win i think he's in for another big year full size authentic as you can tell and uh you do have that beck insert there on the back for the cleveland brown the lunar well done. You know what they say, I mean, I mean, once you're hot, stay hot, right? right? I'd hop back in if I was Mike. Now we're at two, four, six, eight, ten, I think twelve left with four photoed headliners. That's a one in three chance. And then we have Andre Johnson, Warren Moon, and Michael Strahan as well. Seven in twelve, Stephen, right. with headliners right now in the diamonds. What the heck is David talking about? I have uh, no clue. What is David? I, I don't know, man. David's, David's lost it. <laughs> you like, sorry, wrong chat. Yeah, oh man, I didn't realize I was calling ultimate autographs. Uh, one to go in the minis and one to go in the one and four. And yeah, again, guys, 12 boxes left in the diamonds. That's it. Who's Jessica? Did I miss something? We all miss something when it's regards to David Griffin. Scroll up. I'm trying, bro. I don't see it in here. Oh, I think I know what he's talking about, actually. I think Jessica is no longer in the uh, in, in, allowed in the chat. So, yes, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, she got she she got phased out. <laughs> in the diamonds, though, guys. In the diamonds, twelve boxes left. A Fred Taylor speed flex still out there. That thing is pretty sweet. You can kind of see it there. I want to see the video again because I really like the clip choice there. Look at that. This teal clips, super cool. Have a good night getting ready for another snowstorm here. Where is here, Valerie? Because I know we had some snow today, and I'm just wondering where Valerie is in case, like, that's the snow that's going to her, or does that mean there's more snow coming to us? Right. But, Valerie, congratulations. Have a good night. You are the winner of that Justin Herbert coming to you. Congratulations. Beautiful hit. Headliners left in the one and four, Mr. William McPherson. Uh, basically the same ones that have been there the last couple days, at least. I mean... The Dale Earnhardt Jr. is still there. The Five Sig Miami. The Celtics triple sign. The Lakers triple sign. And Nolan Ryan. We also have the J.J. Watt still in there as a secondary headliner. Six total headliners left. Final 12 boxes in the one and four. How do you know that, David? 
David knows all. Well, he's wrong. <laughs> well, I knew he was wrong once Valerie said another 18 inches. We just got 24. Good lord. That is so much snow. That's a lot of snow. That's too much snow, <laughs> in my opinion. Wow, Valerie, stay safe. I hope you like the snow out there in Maine. It's like 104 in Texas. <laughs> That's, yeah, that's crazy. I, that's not for me. We get too much here already, and uh, we don't get that much. You hate it? What are you doing in Maine? It's supposed to snow here in New York, too. Nothing like that, though. Yeah, y'all get it bad, too, in New York. Buffalo area, specifically. Yeah, they get crushed. I think we got the last mini done, right? We did. Nice. Al Gona, J.J. Jones, Tom Glennon, Bobby Elbert, and William McPherson. Well, Valerie, stay safe regardless. Uh, I hope I hope you can stay uh, stay dry and that snow melts and get a heat wave or something here soon. She said I liked it when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, it does. I've definitely seen it bad there. No need to randomize. We only have two boxes left, so let's randomize the names. Should say no need to call for boxes. My girlfriend took a trip to Maine last year for lobster. She wanted to get some lobster. Ah. She went and went on a girl's trip up there. And said it was gorgeous, loved it, and the food was good. So I like a good lobster roll. I'm not really a lobster guy in general, like with a fancy meal or anything, but a lobster roll, man, that hits right. That hits right. Bobby NFC North, Tom NFC South, Al NFC East, Tom NFC West, and AFC North. Willie McPherson, AFC South, AFC East for JJ, and the AFC West for JJ. Uh, don't know what the last two boxes are, so we'll find out. Thank you. Take good care of Herbie. We will. He's going to be in a hit video for us. You'll see him all over social. And then he's coming to you, Valerie. Then he's coming to you. So let's start with box 11. got a young player here as a lot of these guys on this team are for the San Francisco 49ers Javon Kinlaw Javon Kinlaw pretty sure let me just make sure yeah defensive tackle for the 49ers uh really just getting started rookie in 2020 getting more and more playing time as the years have gone on uh he's three and a half sacks last season Despite only starting, I believe, six games. So, I mean, pretty good. Obviously, when you're playing in that system, trying to find playing time is a big thing. But if you play in that system, that means you are amongst the best in the NFL. So, Tom Glennon with Javon Kinlaw. I think that's the first time I've seen Javon Kinlaw in the break room. That whole Niners defense is insane. Yeah, right. That's the uh, old school Beckett there. We do have the physical cert for you as well on Javon. Just getting started. Just like the new minis, by the way, which will be posted shortly if they aren't already. <laughs> they are already posted. Oh, my gosh. He laughed at me. That's how much he knows. It's like, pfft. what, is it, his amateur hour? They're already up there. He did that. Javon Kinlaw. Guys, I gotta go see those headliners. Are they cool? Some good names. Uh, don't know why these guys are in their place, but. Alright, let's do 14. And then we'll look at the new mini series. The last mini of the old series. From new school to old school, we got Randy Gratishar. Look at this one, though. The Bronco Mini with that orange ink that pops on the salute to service. AFC West for J.J. Jones. He's been on fire today. Been on fire today. Randy Gratishar, by the way, Hall of Famer here. Nothing to, no slouch in his time. Linebacker, seven Pro Bowls, two All Pros. 20 interceptions in his career as well, which only was about nine years from 74 to 83, but a uh, really nice hit on right. Randy Gratishar. 
That's a cool mini. This one's Prova certified. Emmett Smith's grading company. So there you go. Grumpy's over there doing the Lord's work, says David. Oh, Larry, says William. And with the eyeballs, too. Where is Larry? Where is Larry? Is he lurking today? Sitting over there doing the Lord's work. Not quite. But appreciate the kind sentiment. I want to say he pro Larry probably has a Randy Radishar. I'm not 100% sure, but something in me wants to say he's got one. It's like a one in four is sold out. So got a free mini. Can I use it now? Yeah. Yep, should be up. Should be up and good. Speaking of the new minis, this is the new series, guys. Take a peek. We got that, uh, what are they calling that? The Indy Knights or whatever? Marshall Falk? Uh, the John Elway New School Salute to Service, Joe Green, A.J. Brown, Will Anderson. I mean, my goodness, the Texans just getting better and better at this point. I mean, they are gearing up for a massive run in the AFC. We got Brian Dawkins, but not on an Eagle. Larry, where are you? Brian Dawkins on a Bronco. Randall Cunningham, not on an Eagle, but on a Viking. We got a Ray Lewis Eclipse, a beautiful A.J. Green Flash. And an Emmett Smith old school salute to service. So that is the Roughing the Passer mini helmet series. Uh, we've also got Fred Taylor, Chad Johnson, and not Christian McCaffrey, but Ed McCaffrey in this one. So those are the new minis. It is still the chase, guys. $49 double box break every single time. Go get it. And, yeah, you should be able to use that now, Mr. Slay. So let me know when you put that in, and we can do it. He said, hey, Broncos, right? Broncos and Raiders, right? 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 I think that's right. Maybe. One and four, Chris Kohler, Michael Otondro, John Ryan, and William McPherson. Appreciate the close. William, drop me a number four. One and four, number one. So, yeah, obviously the chase is going to include the new series and the old series. By the way, we are three to go in the double box break for the baseball. Three to go in the one and four double. Three to go in the jerseys. And we should be, I mean, we should be continuing to attack the diamonds, too. Because, again, in the diamonds, we are down to 12. That Fred Taylor Hydro Blackout Speed Flex is still out there. The Aiden Hutchinson Camo Authentic, Kurt Warner, and George Kittle as photoed headliners. And we're also still looking for Andre Johnson, Warren Moon, and Michael Strahan. All guys that have been photoed headliners before in Diamonds here in the listed headliner section. That is three, five, seven photoed headliners, uh, listed and photoed headliners rather, in 12 boxes in that Diamond Helmet series. 34. A Walter Payton box coming up here in the one and four. Take that off. Chris down to William. Those new minis are out of 30. 30. Gold 30. Only a 30 boxer. that up there real quick. Can I put an equal sign for some reason? 1 through 30. Correct. Nice. Nailed it. Got it. Finally. Lock it in the vault. It's a little PC item, perhaps, for JJ. Six clicks. Good luck, guys. And Frank Gore. Of course, of course, of course, Frank Gore. How could I forget? The ultimate collector of Frank Gore. Was that with you, or was that with Alex? Must have been with Alex. Alex. He got a Frank Gore, I think, in the Diamonds, and then he had a rep personal, and we got a Frank Gore. It was back-to-back, -back, and he won them both. <laughs> Two Frank Gores. Hey. I think he traded one, though, if I remember right. That's good. So, box 34, Willie McPherson. Football spots for you. Still looking for that J.J. Watt. Basketball, Michael Otondro. Two great basketball hits there. The Lakers triple sign. The Celtics triple sign. Uh, we've got... 
Nolan Ryan still in the baseball. Could be Nolan Ryan for John Ryan in box 34. And then Chris Kohler and everything else, that Dale Earnhardt Jr. still out there. The Five Sig Miami, by the way, would also be a football hit here. So 34 of 40 in the one and four, 50% chance at a headliner. Do we have one? This is a big helmet. Oh, nice. It's a day late because yesterday was NASCAR Tuesday. But here is a NASCAR helmet. Ooh. Dale Earnhardt Jr. If he comes out, he's, he's struggling. Get out, Dale. Come say hey. Come say hey. Look at that. Beautiful sun drop helmet here on Dale Earnhardt Jr. Chris Kohler, everything else. Congratulations, man. Nice hit on Dale Jr. Dale Jr., a great racer, just like his dad. Uh, a lot of fun to watch out there. And, I mean, still does a lot of analytical work and stuff for the sport. But I always like these, like, replica helmets are pretty cool. Where it's like, you could still, like, you could almost put that on if you wanted to, you know? But put the SIG right there on the front. You do have the PSA there in the inside. He says, sweet, right? Something different for your collection, man. That's cool. That's very cool, man. Jealous. Nicely done. <laughs> William said, you had my hopes up when I saw a helmet, then I was let down. To be honest, I thought it was a football helmet at first. But then I was like, wait, that 5-6 I don't think has a visor. And then, yeah, <laughs> the rest is history here. I did, Giselle ended up with one. Ah, there you go. Nice. Yeah, the Deion Sanders, I think, was the deal. I think I spelled his name wrong. That's fine. First also, auto racing helmet, great addition. Yeah, I think so, man. I want one in my collection. The Sun Drop, too. Cool, man. It's sweet. They even got, like, the little cord here. All sorts of fun stuff. The back is cool. Like, I think that's, like, for... I mean, I'm not 100% sure. This is just a wrap. I mean, it doesn't go to anything. But, like, I think they do have that, and it connects to something, like an air conditioner for their head or something. But it's pretty sweet. Taylor said, did it? Yep, he got the personal. Nice. We do have a jersey, so we'll do the jersey first, Taylor. But if you do have a number for the new minis... Go ahead and drop it in there, and we can uh, we can make it happen. But we do have the jerseys first. We've got Paul Brady, Willie McPherson, Josh Underwood, Michael Otondri, Otrandi, rather, and Jeremiah Greco. So, guys, drop me a number for jersey number three. And we'll put this over by you. You can hang out with Dale for a while. That's fair. Tell them what's up. Get to get in your racing roots, Steven. I don't have any roots in racing. Okay, well. You tried. <laughs> it could have been a little more enthusiastic. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> 12 from William McPherson. Thank you, sir. 12 it is in the jerseys. Nah. No. <laughs> nah. That's lame. Did we do five in the jerseys? Wait, five or twelve? Twelve. We did five. We did five? Yeah. Okay. So there's only five left. Okay. Yes. So that should be right. Hope it didn't take five off something else. Robbie's going to have my head tomorrow. Yes, he will. Here we go. Six clicks. William, you are in the NFC North looking for that box collar mojo. We got Jeremiah in the NFC South, the NFC East, and the AFC South. Paul Brady's in the NFC West. Michael Otrandi is in the AFC North. He's also in the AFC West. Josh Underwood is in the AFC East. So Tyree Kill would be going to Josh Underwood. Primetime would be going to Jeremiah. Terrell Davis would be going to Michael. 
And uh, Frank Gore could go a lot of different ways, so we'll see what happens. There's only two things we don't know here, guys. Four and six chance at a headliner. Do we have one in box 12? Probably not a surprising answer, but it's yes, we do have one. And it is the great running back, Terrell Davis. Terrell Davis. TD in the building. One of my favorite running backs of all time. Beautiful Broncos custom. Larry, <laughs> where are you? Michael Otrandi. Oh, there you go, my man. Terrell Davis. Nice, nice couple wins today. All right. His first two, I think. Got the Amari Cooper, and now Terrell Davis. I'm telling you, man, when you're hot, you got to keep playing. Mm-hmm. Very nice, man. Terrell Davis, obviously a 2,000-yard rusher, as mentioned. The difference between him and a lot of the other ones, though, uh, only seven seasons Terrell Davis played in the NFL and got over 10,000 yards rushing, a 2,000-yard season. Uh, really, really impressive with not a lot of work. Really, the question for him is if he never got hurt. Where could he have ended up on the all-time list? Where could it have been? The sky's the limit, in my mind. Right. First two. Thanks, boys. There you go, man. Congratulations. Two good ones. Amari Cooper Authentic and a Terrell Davis Headliner Jersey. He, uh, he had two spots, but still, this is uh, definitely worth more than $54. So you're good there. Go Cubbies. 4-0 in the fifth, says Young Sue. 4-0 in the fifth. Go Cubbies. White Sox won today because they didn't have to play today. That is a win. That's a win. They should be celebrating in the locker room. It's Terrell Davis. Oy. Five left. Three headliners left, all right? Tyree Kill, Deion Sanders, and Frank Gore. Could get some new jerseys in the room, guys, if we get that one done. All right, Taylor, do you have a number, my friend? I believe we are caught up for now. So let's go here. Oh, we got too many personals. So Taylor, you are first. If you want to call a number, let me know. And then Roderick, once he calls a number, if you want to call a number, let me know. I know Taylor's here. I don't know if Roderick's here. I'm guessing he's here. But we can do your guys' personals right here, right now. Six to go in the diamond double. Three to go in the double box break for the baseball. Three to go in the one and four double. Five to go in the baseball single. Six to go already in the next jersey. We've got one spot knocked off in the brand new minis. We'll probably do a little top to bottom after we do these two mini personals so Taylor or Roderick let me know if you guys are out there want to call a number otherwise we'll do the top to bottom rundown first and then we'll wait for a number either way it is 4-0 in the Cubs game as mentioned Roderick said I'll take 25 if Taylor doesn't have a number Taylor says wheel so we, they might take 25 I think we have a 1-30 to but if this doesn't land on it, since he was first, we will give him the dibs. <laughs> it was a little close. It 22. About, it thought about it. So we'll do 22 for Taylor and 25 for Roderick. So we'll get those done real quick. And get those off the ticker. Cool. Taylor first. Taylor. And then Roger. Thank you. Guessing these are both SIG clubs. So if you guys aren't SIG club, make sure you get in it. Because both of these are absolutely a free. Oh. Do you want do you want what the wheel put or do you want 18? Because the wheel chose 22. But would you rather have 18? Let me know, Taylor. We might open Roderick's first. 
Unless you unless you got an answer. He said wheel and then he said 18. The wheel chose 22, so if you want to keep the wheel, we'll do 22. But if you would rather have 18, just let me know, and Steven can do the old flippy floppy. Say a Suzuki home run. Nice. Wheel is the wheel, says William. It is the wheel. This is what the wheel chose. But it is a personal. He said 18 afterwards. So, I mean, if he wants 18, we'll give him 18. All right, we're going to do 25 first. This is going to be Roderick's. And then Taylor can let me know. If I don't hear from him, we are just going to do whatever the wheel was. Yeah. Because that's what he said first. But we'll do 25 for Roderick. So this one's for Roderick. He called 25. This was his number. He was confident in it. Let's give it to him. All right, he wants the wheel, so we're going to do 22. We are starting the minis off with the bad guys. Randy White on a cowboy mini helmet. Randy. Randy White got the Super Bowl MVP inscription on there. So there you go, Roderick. I believe he's a Cowboys fan. Correct me if I'm wrong. Roderick, I think he's a 49er fan. I believe he's a 49er fan. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Getting a cowboy then, especially in this era, that might be a little tough. But hey, you never know. Nine Pro Bowls for him, a Super Bowl MVP, as it says on there. Uh, Hall of Fame career with 111 career sacks for Randy White. Not bad. Not bad one way or another. So, Roderick, there you go. And I believe, were these both Sick Club? Um, yes, they were. So free. Absolutely free, at least that many specifically. Roderick obviously plays a lot with us to get that far, but we reward that by giving him a free mini helmet. Same with Taylor. William says, nice in all caps. He likes the bad guys. Speaking of the bad guys, box 22 via the wheel. The Emmett Smith box. Two different names in here. I guess we're going to see which one it is. Ah, it is the all-time interceptions leader. It's Paul Kraus. Paul Kraus. There you go. Vikings flash helmet. I mean, we always talk about the best players uh, in the secondary of all time, and I feel like Paul Kraus's name doesn't get mentioned in that enough. Guy's more interceptions than anybody in the history of the NFL. That's true. That's a good title to have. And I know we always talk about, like, you know, Eric Dickerson's record potentially never being touched. I don't know who's going to touch Paul Krause's record. It's going to be tough for somebody to do it. But regardless, beautiful autograph, beautiful flash mini, JSA certified on Paul Krause. A couple of good filler hits there for you two on absolutely free mini. So thank you guys for playing with us, earning those mini helmets, getting them free, and building your collection even farther. That's what it's all about, right? Absolutely. With that being said, now, only 28 boxes left in the minis. Two, four, six, eight photoed headliners, three listed headliners, 11 and 24 chance at a headliner now. That ain't bad. You got it, Roderick. No problem, my man. Thank you. Appreciate you playing with us. Appreciate you playing with us. You earned it. Alright, let's go ahead and look at the live breaks page, reset this a little bit, see where we're at. It's 822, night is still young. Here is the diamond double box break, six spots to go, $180 a spot. And in the double box break, the double up opportunities are pretty sweet, especially if you're looking at headliners. I mean, this is one of the greatest comeback stories, if not the best comeback stories in the NFL's history, Kurt Warner who was just told he was no good, wasn't good enough to be in the NFL. And then what? He comes Shut back. That up. Shut that up real fast. <laughs> Greatest show on turf, Super Bowl winner, just an incredible story of one of the best quarterbacks I've ever seen play, Kurt Warner. I was hoping he was going to get another one with the Cardinals. And one of the best Super Bowls I remember seeing as a kid, the uh, Cardinals and Steelers, 
But Kurt Warner's still out there, a guy that just played in the Super Bowl. He's a top tight end in the NFL, George Kittle. You can double up there in the NFC West. AFC South has a lot of interesting double-up opportunities, including maybe the best lid left in the room, not just the series, in the room. The Dark Hydro Speedflex Blackout Bread Taylor, the best running back in Jaguars history. If you look in the listing, Warren Moon's still out there. Now, he could be on a lot of different teams, but generally speaking, on a full-size authentic, I've seen Warren Moon on a Houston Oiler more than anybody else. So I'm going to assume it's an oiler. It's always dangerous to assume. Andre Johnson, though, I've never seen him on anything other than a Texan. So regardless, Fred Taylor and Andre Johnson, that's probably a double up. I assume Warren Moon is in that conversation as well. Real quick, here's the video of that Fred Taylor. Love the clips. Those green clips, I think, really add to this whole thing of the sick blackout hydro of Fred Taylor. The green outline, too, you can see. There's like a stripe going through it too, that's green. The accent colors on this are sick. Wasn't finished, because we still have another headliner here, and his name is Aiden Hutchinson on a sick Camo Authentic here. Camo Authentics, I think over both Salute to Services, personally. I like the Camos more. Definitely over the new school. The old school's still pretty sweet, but I think Camo's better than both if we're talking military helmets. Right. So Aiden Hutchinson there, one of the best young defensive player in the league again. Five photo, excuse me, four photoed headliners, three listed headliners. That is a 7 and 12 chance. There's only five things we don't know. And again, we pulled Luke Keekley as a filler. We pulled Amari Cooper as a filler. Ty Law as a filler. The filler hits in the diamonds are among the best of the best. The series itself among the best of the best. So six to go in that double, and it is eight to go in the single. In the bats, we're just three to go. Not just the bats, excuse me, it's a baseball mixer. Three to go in that double baseball mixer series. Both photos still there. The Cy Young winner, Garrett Cole, one of the best pitchers in the MLB when he's healthy. And really, you could argue he's the best pitcher in the MLB when he's healthy. He's definitely up there. And Ronald Acuna Jr., not a lot of arguments. He was the best player in the NL last year. Now, Mookie Betts already making a strong case as to why he should be the best player in the NL going into this season. Uh, great fast start for him. But Ronald Acuna Jr., I think, is going to catch him when it's all said and done because he's just that good. Didn't have to play today. White Sox get a win, regardless. <laughs> Just because the they didn't field the team today. Uh, we got Fernando Tatis Jr. on the Slam Diego jersey. First time I've seen that. That's pretty sweet. The Miggy bat, the blonde one there. Long career for Miggy, and it was all successful. Obviously, the Marlins, the Tigers, uh, Triple Crown winner, played a long time, and will certainly be seeing Cooperstown sooner rather than later. Tom Glavin already there. He's got that stat jersey, all of his career accomplishments. You can see exactly why he belongs in Cooperstown. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr., who was exactly on the same pace as his dad at some point, I think last season, maybe two seasons ago. He's going to be better than his dad, I think, personally, when it's all said and done. Long career to go, but that's a good, that's a tough career to follow. It is a very tough <laughs> career to follow. He was great. Vlad, Vladimir Guerrero Sr. was incredible. I don't know. I kind of like Vladimir Guerrero Jr.'s uh, plate discipline a little bit more. And he's a good fielder, too, despite what people were saying about him early on. Not to mention the cover athlete of MLB The Show 24. So uh, his dad never did that, as far as I know. He did. <laughs> Throw that stat away. <laughs> that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six photo headliners still left in the baseballs. Uh, bat series. We're also still looking for Lance Berkman and Carlos Correa to go along with it. So the baseball series, pretty sweet. He, was, he was on the cover of a video game. I just don't remember which one. Well, if it wasn't the show, I'm still a winner. <laughs> That's 118 for the double, by the way. 59 for the single. 5 to go in the single. 3 to go. It was the cover of MLB 06 on the PlayStation 2. But it wasn't the show. I think 2007 was the show. Yes. <laughs> the stat still But this works. was the first game of that lineage. The stat lives. <laughs> he was not on the cover of hold MLB on, The Show. Hold on, MLB The Show history. If it says it. Oh, it's predecessor. Oh, there. Oh, MLB 06 The Show it was a separate game, it looks like. David Ortiz was the first cover, so you're good. He was not. He was never a show cover athlete. There you go. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., 2024's MLB the show cover athlete. Spit your truth. That's right. I didn't say baseball video game. <laughs> <laughs> In which case, 
Like father, like son. Right. This is the vault, by the way. Only 14 boxes left. It's a full-size mixer. Six headliners, including probably the biggest name on a speed flex we have left, Adrian Peterson. Tough couple of great running backs. Speed flex is still out there. The all-day inscription. Uh, he's got the, what, 2,090? Nope. Can't be that. Yeah, no, it can be that much. 2000, 2000. I think, 97? Is that how much he had in 2012? 2009, yeah, it might be. I think it's 97. And the, uh, of course, he won the MVP that year because he deserved it in 2012. The NFL MVP. Lawrence Taylor, Michael Irvin, both still out there. You can double up. Those are both replica helmets. And then we're still chasing a couple of listed headliners like Chris Olave. He's a great young receiver. Fran Tarkenton, full-size authentic and... The guy that Adrian Peterson was trying to catch, for the record, Eric Dickerson on a full-size authentic. We pulled Eric Dickerson, by the way, as a filler here in the diamonds. Three to go in the one and four. We did pull that Dale Earnhardt Jr., so 11 boxes left, five headliners left. Uh, and the double-up is still alive for the basketballs. Jerry West, James Worthy, Magic Johnson on the Lakers triple sign. Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish, and Larry Bird on the Celtics triple sign. We got a Nolan Ryan jersey still out there, and that five-sig authentic Miami lid with Michael Irvin, Warren Sapp, Andre Johnson, Ray Lewis, and Frank Gore all on one helmet. You can double that up, by the way, with J.J. Watt in that double. 260 for the double, 130 for the single in the one and four. Seven to go in the vault single, five to go in the jerseys. This is one we're probably going to get going again. Only five jerseys left, five spots left, five jerseys left. Tyree Kill and Deion Sanders. Enough said there. That's a 40% chance on one of those two. Frank Gore is still lurking there, too. JJ, where are you at? Where are you at, JJ? Your boy. You gotta get Frank Gore. Your boy is lurking. You can't leave one behind. Frank Gore jersey's still out there. He's calling out to JJ. Seven to go in the new minis. If you're looking at this mini helmet series and you're like, dang, I'd like... Literally anything on there that I've got news for you. You can have anything that's on there. Mm. Haven't done a break yet. We've done two personals, so we're down to 28. But every single headliner here, including the great Marshall Falk, one of the best running backs of all time, played with Kurt Warner, obviously, on that greatest show on turf team. John Elway, one of the best quarterbacks of all time, went out a winner. Two Super Bowls near the end of his career. New school salute for him. Mean Joe Green, the most notorious commercial in football history, I would say, with the Coca-Cola. Right. Very cool. A.J. Brown's a current day star. Been balling with the Philadelphia Eagles. Just went to a Super Bowl a couple years ago. Will Anderson is the defensive rookie of the year just this last season. Brian Dawkins is a Hall of Famer. Randall Cunningham's one of the best mobile quarterbacks to ever play the game. Ray Lewis is a top linebacker of all time. A.J. Green is an underrated wide receiver. I'm just going to say it. My man was balling in the early 2010s, mid-2010s was one of the best wide receivers in football right next to Julio Jones and Antonio Brown, in my opinion. Uh, Emmett Smith out there as well, one of the best running backs to ever play on the old school salute to service. <sighs> JJ said, I just got my restraining order from Mr. Gore. Apparently people told him I was his biggest fan. Come on. Uh, that's unfortunate. Rashi Rice took full responsibility for the six-car crash that injured four in Dallas, as he should. Fred Taylor, Chad Johnson, Ed McCaffrey. I heard he was leasing the Lamborghini, too. Uh, which is, if you watch Ballers, which I'm still finishing it, because the last Great season, show. it's hard to get through the last season, though. Oh, yeah. It's but, uh... Real rough. Yeah, it is a good show. I just, like... Are you watching it on Netflix? Yeah. I'm so disappointed in Netflix. What'd they do? Brooklyn, Brooklyn Nine-Nine only four oh, seasons. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What are they doing? I don't know. Yeah. It, um... I guess that was the inconvenient truth for JJ if you got that restraining order. It does fit the nickname for for Frank Gore. That is the inconvenient truth for JJ. But yeah, I've been I was talking to Caroline about how like this is what Baller should have done to make the show better and this and that. And she's just like, I really don't care. Right. She does not care, which is fair. Alright guys, it's 832. Let's keep these breaks rolling. Where do we want to go next? They had to find him for him to do that. Yeah. No, he didn't come forward right away. I think he's just a kid that was scared, though. I mean, not that that makes it acceptable, obviously. But I'm sure he's just like, I don't know what to do. Let's go ahead and try this, Steven. I'm going to say minis plus any breaks done by... I'll go 915, even. 915. 
You heard the man. So there you go. From now until 9.15, if we can get any other breaks done, including the minis, by the way, we'd get in to both these wheel spins, both these wheel spins down here, we are good to go. So any breaks done by 9.15, that is, what, 45 minutes? You're in your own separate wheel spin. Nothing we've done so far, but from any break we do now until 9.15. I see. That could be one. That could be... 15. That's true. I don't know. He don't know, man. He don't know. Yeah, it's funny talking about these wide receivers, these young ones, because I was, like, bragging how I had all these great young wide receivers on my Dynasty League, and now, like, Rashi Rice might be in legal trouble, maybe get suspended. Tank Dell is now, like, maybe the third wide yeah. receiver <laughs> on this team. I'm just like, well. They're, they're losing value quickly. <laughs> losing value very quickly. <laughs> Derrick Henry went to Baltimore, so it's like that's just going to be a run-heavy attack. I don't know where that leaves Zay Flowers and everything. I don't know. I mean, he's still definitely the number one option, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Puka's going to be fine, I think. Yeah, Puka's going to become, like, the threat, you know? I think so, too. All due respect to Cooper Cup, who is still a great wide receiver, I think. Just, you know, maybe you get old quick in you the do. NFL. You do. It's a physical game. Like I like how you said, you just get old quick. You get old quick. Let's look at Cooper Cup. Guy we get in the break room, by the way, Cooper Cup. Last season, despite battling injuries, um, 737 yards and five touchdowns. And he only played 12 games. So, I mean, he was still doing incredible. But he's gotten hurt. He's actually been hurt, I think, four out of the seven years he's played. Right. Which is not great. No. And the one year he played all 17 games, he led the league in catches with 145, led the league in yards with 100 or 1,947, and led the league in touchdowns with 16. I had him on fantasy that year. That's a good time to have him on <laughs> yeah. fantasy. I did go to the title game. <laughs> yeah. It's just like looking at these numbers. I mean, look at these. It's crazy. Whoops. I'm not on the right Good old page. Randy. Look at Randy White, guys. We're talking about <laughs> Cooper Cup. I'm looking. Yeah, but like. He played. He started six games in 2017 and had 869 yards and five touchdowns. Right. He played eight games and had 566. He had 14 games, had over 1,000. 12 games, had over 900. This last year, had over 700. Like, it's just crazy the amount of efficiency Cooper Cup can have when he's actually he got that, out there he on He got the that ring, though, and that's kind of what solidifies it. How many yards does he have for his career? He has 7,066. Ooh. Couple solid seasons. Mm -hmm. How old is he? Uh, thirty. Thir okay. So he's I mean, probably he got. Can get it. He can get it. You know what college he went to? Don't look. Eastern Washington. I'm, you, I'm, I'm a wizard. You know where Puka Nakua went? He, like Utah State or something like that. Washington. Oh, oh wow! Yeah, he did. You're right. And be like, but Washington. Who am I picking up? One thousand four hundred and eighty-six yards for Puka Nakua last year. Throw some touchdowns in there, and my man is a fantasy threat. <laughs> I mean, he's still a fantasy threat. He is. How many receptions? Uh, a lot. 105. Yeah. So, I mean... He only catches the ball 105 times, you're a fantasy threat. That's true. That's the truth for <laughs> So, it looks like the baseball break's getting closer and closer. I think we're two to go there now. So, I'll drop that in there. You'll get your name in times two, by the way, for this wheel spin for any breaks done... Uh, by 9.15. So there you go. If you want to get into that baseball break, there's the link. Still some great names out there. Who else do I have? Well, Jackson Smith and Jigba. Who at first, I'm like, I'm not going to keep him. But now I'm like, maybe I should keep him. Like, <laughs> yeah. like Tank Dell's the third stringer now. I think I'm still going to keep Rashi. He's like the third stringer, though, potentially. I think you'll no, see more he's action. The, no, he's the starter. Well, I'm thinking third stringer thinking. Like third option. Yeah, like Tony Gonzalez. Tony Gonzalez. Travis Kelsey's going to get the most looks, probably. Yeah, whatever receiver they draft. But we'll see what Marquise Brown does, because he's going to see a lot of the over-the-top looks. What's up, Craig? Says, diamond rundown, please, good sirs. We can do it real quick. Just talked or touched on it. Six to go in the double, eight to go in the single. But... Down to 12 boxes and 7 headliners.
The Fred Taylor Flex is still there. That uh, Blackout Hydro with the green accents. It's very cool. The Aiden Hutchinson Camo, the Kurt Warner, and the George Kittle. So the double up in the NFC West still alive. Uh, and then in the listing, Warren Moon, Michael Strahan, and Andre Johnson. So the Andre Johnson could be doubled up with the Fred Taylor. I believe the Warren Moon could be doubled up with the Fred Taylor. And then, yeah, we still are looking for that Michael Strahan as well. So seven headliners in 12 boxes when it comes to the Diamond Helmets. Obviously, the Justin Herbert getting pulled. It's on the desk. That was kind of the early chase for us in this show, and for good reason, I would think. Shout out to uh, Valerie right. getting that one done. I know. She, she's been playing all day. Not winning much. But that's worth, that's absolutely the win of the day. I really like the lightning bolts that go in it. I know. The it's design. Just... The, I love the visor. Yeah. With him in there. Absolutely beautiful hit. The clips are cool. Yeah. I need some clips for my for my helmets. I don't have any clips. Oh, like the clips of clap, clap Yeah, like these things right here. Yeah, they're nice. They're nice. Like some, some specialty ones. I think I have black ones on one of them. I have those. Yeah. But I'm looking. I'm looking for more. So I'm looking for more. <laughs> <laughs> it's not enough. The Rockies have put two runs on the Cubs, but the Cubs have added one more, 5-2, in the Cubs-Rockies game. The Reds on top of the Phillies. They're going to need Bryce Harper to hit three home runs to get things going again. The Astros up 2 nothing. Is it thanks to Jordan Alvarez? It is. He homered? He did. There, I was <laughs> looking earlier, and there was a guy that was saying, like, Jordan Alvarez is so due for a bomb. It's plus four fifty. You should take that bet. Well, no. Today, the big, the big bet, and I'm beyond livid. It was the they're due bet. The they're they're due for home runs. Corey Seager, Aaron Judge, Jordan Alvarez, Shohei Otani. They all hit bombs. Well, Shohei hasn't started yet. I was about to say, the I know first three of them have. The first three have. Yeah. And that's fair. They are due. <laughs> they are yeah, clearly due. Somebody, I was on TikTok or something. I was looking, and they were like, Jordan Alvarez is. As you were saying, do he was basically saying Jordan Alvarez is due for a bomb. He's like plus four fifty on the on the money line for one. Take that bet, right? And sure enough, but him and yeah, Corey Seager both. Those are both good ones. And yeah. and yeah, I guess Aaron Judge too. He's been <laughs> he hit the bomb and then he was super quiet, right? And then, and then now Shohei, like what? <laughs> they all haven't hit a bomb. Meanwhile, Mookie has five. Yeah, I'm gonna put him not to hit a home run. <laughs> He's due for a bad game. <laughs> He's due for a bad game. So like Craig is into that double diamond. That's Craig Crenshaw. So five to go in the double diamond, I believe. Two to go in the rounding third double. And three to go to be in the one and four double. And four to go in the jerseys. I feel like all that would be really good to all add to this Chase Wheel Spin. Get you guys a lot of names, a lot of sick helmets and items coming out. I say we do it. Let's make it happen. We do need morale to RBIs, though. For fantasy sake and parlay sake. Come on, Erasmus. Come on, Erasmus. I've lost everything. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost everything. Man, that's a good show. Throwing all those breaks in there, guys. These are all of our closest breaks here coming into the chat. Click them. Play them. Let's have some fun. These are all the double box breaks right now, by the way. All the double box breaks. That way you get your name in times two to these any breaks done by 9.15. Uh, and then here are the jerseys, which are two to go. Obviously, your easiest ticket into that any break done by 9.15. Not to mention Tyree Kill and Deion Sanders both still out there. What is left in the vault, says Craig Crenshaw. What is left in the vault is this, my friend. This. This is left. Adrian Peterson, Lunar, Speed Flex, with three inscriptions. One of the best running backs of all time. The best running back I've ever seen play. That purple visor. Black clips on there. Beautiful lid still out there. Lawrence Taylor and Michael Irvin both still out there as well for that double-up possibility. Two replica helmets. We're also still chasing three listed headliners. Chris Olave. Fran Tarkenton and Eric Dickerson. Six, six headliners still in the vault. 
plus one vault key, make it seven with 14 boxes left. It's about a 50% chance at a headliner or a key in the vault. So I'm guessing we're probably going to do jerseys first. Those are two to go. Then probably the bat double, and then hopefully a diamond double. We'll wrap it all up in a nice bow with a one and four double. I have laid out the foundation. You have laid out the plan. I think it's pretty easy to execute. We're going to start by being one away on the jerseys. One away on the jerseys. The plan is going to plan. <laughs> Check it back in for the Fighting Boulets of the New York Rangers. Great literally. game. What? Literally. Fighting Boulets. No, oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, literally. I get it. <laughs> yes. The Fighting Boulets, quite literally. 4-3 uh, over the Devils with a minute 45 left. That game has everything. Yeah. A lot of goals, a lot of fighting, and a close game of two of the best teams in hockey. Fists and goals, the way to grow the game. That's it. <laughs> That is it. I should ask Bob if that one dude that's been known for fighting here recently. He was, was he a part in, of was that? It, yeah, was he involved? <laughs> Did he even start it? Because <laughs> that would be not surprising. Right. Anthony Davis with 35 points and 18 rebounds and a win against just the sorry Washington Wizards. 50 points for my man Malachi Flynn today. Wow. And the Pistons. That game is still ongoing. Malachi Flynn has 50 points, and the Pistons are losing by six. Uh. <laughs> Maybe equally, if not even more sorry than, than the Washington Wizards. They're both relatively very sorry. They're both pretty sorry. 27 points for one Chris Stapps Porzingis. I know I need three more. <laughs> it's like, I'm aware. <laughs> I don't know. Anthony Davis, 35 it. hit. Chris Stapps, 30. Three points away. They're 28 points down, though. They're up. Well, no, with the Thunder. Yeah, 20. I know. That's a problem. That is a problem. They're going to cut me short. That's a problem. But the jersey's ready. That's not the problem. That's a solution. <laughs> Craig said jersey sold out. I went to get in, and I was denied. He was trying to be a part of the plan, darn it. And the plan went on without him. There's more parts of the plan that you can get You got to get into the bat double. That's the next step in the plan. We got Josh Underwood, Bobby Elbrick, John Ryan, Michael Otrondo, John Ryan, and Roderick Agmada. Drop me a number for Jersey. Number four. All right. Comes up the bases loaded, nobody out. And Christopher Merrill's up. No. He is four spots away. Say Suzuki's up. He's up in two spots. They're having a mound visit, clearly, because the Rockies are a disaster. Guys, we really suck. We just need somebody. Somebody, please. I've decided the White Sox are only going to win games when Garrett Crochet is throwing. Because <laughs> they, I, I saw their, ro they don't have a fifth pitcher yet. <laughs> they haven't needed one because of all the rainouts. They're like, we're, we're not picking one yet until we have to. Cubs did a quote-unquote bullpen game today. Is the Trout still available? Sorry. It is not. Mike Trout is right here. Ryan Pizer taking this one down. One of the biggest baseball fans we have in the room. This thing is pretty sweet it's got that right. mvp on the other side it is gone but ronald acuna jr your boy he's still out there on the photo tom glavin your other boy he's still out there not to mention garrett cole vlad jr miggy tatis all sorts of goodies no numbers nobody uh, we are baking. congrats ryan that's nice of you it's nice of you to say craig gonna bring a tear in my eye man Okay, Miguel. Pretty proud of you for that. Looks like a bases clearing double. That's not our guy. It's not. Oh, a, a single. Well, <laughs> looks like both of our guys are going to bat the same. All right, I'm all right with that. Yeah. As long as they don't get out. Yeah. It's like they bat around, but we're the only two. <laughs> we're the only two that uh, get out. Like, you got to be kidding me. Right? <laughs> Everyone else is raking. The only, man, I would have bet. The other day, I think I sent it to you, but it literally came down to Luis Roberts' last at bat. He needed one total base, and he hit one in the gap. And I was like, "Yes, thank you." <laughs> See, if I had gotten it, I'd have given you a number by now. You missed the plan, man. You got to get into the bat double and give me two numbers. That's the new plan. I'm gonna start putting these in the randomizers, though. Randomizers, just singular randomizer, not randomizers. 
And we're going to go there. But I do believe, Craig, you probably would have given me a number by now. Six clicks, top number, we will do. Quattro. Number four in the jerseys. Off the ticker. Josh, down to Roderick. Here we go. I chose the diamonds over the baseball. Well, that is also a part of the plan. So you are you are in the plan. That's good news. Five and six. Michael Otrondo has got the bookends here. The NFC North. Four. I didn't spin. I randomized. You randomized four. Michael's got the NFC North and the AFC West. Josh has the NFC South and the NFC East. Looking for prime time. John is in the NFC West and the AFC North. AFC South for Roderick. Bobby. I think Bobby's a Dolphins fan, isn't he? He's in the Tyreek Hill spot. And then uh, Frank Gore, who could be... I mean, he's he's like a... He's like a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A mutt. He's a mutt. He's the inconvenient truth. He could, He is the inconvenient truth. He could literally be anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> he's played for so many teams. <laughs> Chris Kohler, you in the chat? I'm really interested in the Dale Jr. Yeah, baby, that Dale Jr. is sick. Who do you think we have? There we go. No. No. Spin again. Ozzie Newsom. Ozzie Newsom! <laughs> <laughs> what a guess! It's like you saw it. <laughs> saw the brown. That's a good guess. <laughs> Bobby is a Dolphins fan? Yeah. AFC North, though. He's a Dolphins fan. He's still out there is the good news, that Tyree kill. This is Ozzie Newsom, who's a great player, by the way. Little Otto. Little baby Otto for Ozzie. You can barely see. He put Hall of Fame in there, too. Hall of Fame 99 for the great Ozzie Newsom. Nice Browns custom going to John Ryan. Ozzie. Oi, oi, oi. So, Tyree Kill, Deion Sanders, Frank Gore. Those three are all left with only four jerseys left. Let's go get them. Has Bobby won anything today? I don't know about today. I don't think he's won anything tonight. I don't I think. Haven't, I don't have you on here. I think I'm holding on to the Dale uh, for a while, says Chris. So there you go. Love it. Great. Thanks. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for playing. By the way, you're into the wheel spin now, so you might get it for free if you win the wheel spin. I know we paid, I think, $54 for it. But if this is the only break we do until 9.15, which is only in 25 minutes here. This is the only break we do. He wins the wheel spin. I spin him like a 70 or whatever. He's actually getting this for free. As a matter of fact, we're paying him to take it. That's true. Say I did single. Run scored? No. Six. Come on, Bellinger. I need a walk. <laughs> I need a walk. And then a nice double over the gap. Actually, just hit one. Hit a bomb. Morel? Hit a grand slam, yeah. Yes. Yeah, they should they should definitely walk belly. <laughs> Intentionally. <laughs> Intentionally. Get a force out at all bases. I know I've I know I've shared this strategy. with you before. It was last year I went to a ball game with my dad and my girlfriend, a Cubs game. And I always let I always let my girlfriend pick. Like I give her a dollar to build her own parlay so she can like root for certain players or yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. The first time I ever let her do it, she literally almost it was like one dollar to win like eight hundred and fifty. And she missed it by a Jose Abreu home run at a White Sox game. And his first at bat, he hit the wall oh. in left field. Like, his oh. first at bat, it was, like, probably that far from being a home run. And I was just like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I also made one at this Cubs game just for fun. And Christopher Morrell, home run plus RBIs or whatever, was one of them. And he hit that at the end. I was in the concession stand, and I heard the cheering, and I looked up at the TV and saw him rounding the bases, and I was like, oh, I just won like 600 bucks <laughs> or something like that. Deal, baby, deal. Yeah, not bad. So I am a massive fan of Christopher Morrell. Right. He's also on our fantasy team, so that helps. Thanks for applying, Chris. If you want to move, I have some full-size authentic helmets I would trade. There you go. That's, I mean, could get some solid deals there. Speaking of solid deals, a free wheel spin by any breaks done by 915 ain't bad, and these are certainly two we should be focusing on is that double box break for the Diamonds that still has a Hydro Speed Flex, a Kurt Warner, a George Kittle, and an Aiden Hutchinson. We're five spots to go there. But really the one we can definitely get done for sure before 9.15 is this one. 
The Slam Diego jersey still out there. Tom Glavin jersey still out there. Derek Cole and Ronald Acuna, Miguel Cabrera, and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Some very, very nice baseball headliners, plus Lance Berkman, plus Carlos Correa. Very good stuff in the baseball. Two spots to go. In this one, you're going to get your name in times. Two to that chase wheel spin as well. That is one we should be able to get done before the deadline hits. Can you hand me Dale? We'll show that boy off for a minute. Dale? Yeah, absolutely. We've been showing off the other two. Let's show off Dale Earnhardt for a minute. Mm -hmm. Junior, that is. Praise Hale and praise Dale. I kept saying that yesterday, and I got Alex every time. <laughs> he thought it was hilarious. I said it once to you with no reaction. <laughs> I didn't have enough time to process it. I thought it was ridiculous the first time I heard it, and then I said it once, and I was like, oh my god, that was fun to say. <laughs> and now I just go to the Indy 500 and scream it. Fair enough. But this is cool, man. I mean, again, that's just the stuff that comes out of the 1 and 4. Jerseys wouldn't be surprised to see another little break as well. I mean, and with what's left, Tyree Kill, Deion Sanders, and Frank Gore in the final four. Uh, Craig's already in there with a couple of spots. So there you go. Once again, guys, that primetime Deion Sanders, Tyree Kill, 50% chance at one of those two. And again, when you're looking at these headliners, this is a great black box jersey. I said that when we dropped it, and it shows because I think we dropped it like yesterday, and it's already almost gone. But Tyree Kill and Deion Sanders probably near the top of the list of the ones you'd want to have as a whole. The best wide receiver in the game last year, maybe the best wide receiver over the last several years. And then Deion Sanders, who's just, I mean, one of the most notorious players to ever play the game. And then Frank Gore. The inconvenient truth is also still out there. There's only one jersey we don't know. Only one jersey we don't know. So the jersey easily would be another one uh, that we could get done before this 9-15 deadline, which, by the way, by the way, 20 minutes, 20 minutes to go to get the diamond double done, the one and four double done, hopefully, the uh, baseball double, hopefully, and another jersey. That would be the ideal plan. That would be the convenient truth, if you will. Right. The inconvenient truth would be we don't get any of them done by 9-15. That would be not good. would be not good. But you guys let us know which one you want to do. Which way we want to swing. Pistons lose. Ah, oh, the Pistons. Despite a 50-point effort by Malachi Flynn. He definitely gave an effort, that's a fact. What do you think he's screaming at? He's probably not saying anything, but if it was me, I would just be like, I scored half the points, you bums. <laughs> like, you guys couldn't do anything? I wonder how many shots he took. He only took 25 shots. That's actually not too terrible. Uh, he's 18 to 25. It's really efficient. Malachi. Off the bench, by the way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's 5 and 9 from 3. He's 50, 56 and 5. Wow. He also, this is how bad the Pistons are, <laughs> he scored 50 points, and he also led the team in assists with five. Oh, no. <laughs> That's terrible. No one could hop on these. He also was tied for leading the team in rebounds with six. He's a point guard. He just had the game of his life. <laughs> it didn't even matter. It's going to be forgotten in history. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to be, be talking about it randomly. Remember that time Malachi Flynn scored 50 points off the bench? Off the bench? And led his team in assists and rebounds, and they still lost. Jalen Johnson had 28, 14, and 11. Jesus. Those are... Imagine making a parlay around those two guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's Malachi yeah. Flynn and Jalen Johnson. You killed it. Shoot, even throw DeAndre Hunter in there. Right. You murdered the game in that sense. Yeah, just like, that'd be one of those ones you see on Twitter and you're like, how did you know? Yeah, how'd you You had some up? sort of insider information. You're from the future, mm -hmm. simply put. Got a 
close one brewing between the Grizzlies and the Bucks. A three-point lead for the Grizzlies. Five minutes left. Make that a six-point lead for the Grizzlies. I believe that's the... I don't know. There's the Raptors who are getting absolutely murdered by the Timberwolves. And then the Magic, who look like they're going to take care of David Griffin's Pelicans. Up 17 with only eight minutes and 48 seconds left. More importantly, though, the Cubs game. Did Christopher Morrell? Nope. Cody Bellinger, double play. Why do you do that? Yeah, why, of all things? Why do you do that? It's a real mood killer. It was a real mood killer. Now we're going to bat around again. Drop <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, the, that, the Astros starting to port on. Up four now. McCormick with a single. Mr. Pena with a single as well. Two RBI singles. The Astros there. are one and five. That's not going to last that long. No. Somebody, I think it was my cousin, who's also a uh, White Sox fan, shared something to a Braves fan on Facebook that I oversaw, and it was like, their numbers compared to when the Braves won the World Series are, like, exactly the same <laughs> through the first, like, five games. Yeah. They had the same record, same amount of hits, same amount of runs, and <laughs> he was... So he said something like, history repeats itself, and I was just like, there's no chance. <laughs> <laughs> there is. It, Lu, Luis Robert can be the MVP, and the White Sox would be lucky to win 90 games this year. They'd be lucky to win 70. Right. It, it doesn't matter. Unless your pitching staff is just unbeknownst to the world. which It, it, it is. It which, is unbeknownst to the world. Yeah, but in the, in the good way that no one's hitting him, it's in the bad way. Everyone's just knocking him out. <laughs> White Sox pitching rotation. I know Chris Flexen's in there. Nope. They got... Nope, this is wrong. They don't even know? They don't even know. Maybe I should just do White Sox roster. Or White Sox step chart. Because they got... Uh, what's his face on there? Michael Kopech, who is not a starting pitcher anymore. Right. Here they are. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> Garrett Crochet, Michael Soraka, Eric Fed, and Chris Flexen. Pretty solid. Right. Pretty solid indeed. Pretty solid. Good lord. There you go, Chronic. Congratulations, man. Yeah, Michael Kopech leading the bullpen. Oops, I don't want to do that. But yeah, they have four starters. They don't even have five yet. <laughs> they, they don't even know who their fifth starter is. They don't, really, they don't have any real starters. Well, yeah, that's true. Garrett Crochet was a reliever last year. <laughs> and that's their that's their ace. He's been dealing, though, the first two games he's pitched. He has been, right? One to go in the double box break for the rounding third, y'all. 14 minutes on the offer. So, I mean, we should definitely get that one done. I think we got the baseball one closed. Ah, Craig couldn't stay away, baby. He knew what the plan was. That a boy, Craig. And now Craig's going to give us numbers. And now Craig's even going to give us numbers. He said, it's done. I have executed the plan to perfection. What number is this? Number four? Number four. I put a dollar sign instead of a hashtag, but... <laughs> don't, have, don't ask me how that happened. We know what you mean. Speaking of dollar signs, can I have that 10 bucks you got right there? No. Okay, that's rude. That needs to go right back into the account. He is one I'm more excited about, Craig. But that also does not mean he isn't, like, an unproven guy. Did Bobby B start a fight at the Rangers game and Devils game that got eight people ejected from the game? Yeah, he did. He did. I'm pretty sure it was him. David said he threw a hot dog at someone. Three and eight. Craig has called the numbers. Sorry, you need. Chris, JJ, Braden, Chris, Tony, and Craig. There we go. Yeah, you guys can message each other if you want. That's fine. I would do it through that. 
Dale Murphy and Cal Ripken. There you go. Send an email or something like that. Here we go. Six clicks. Fade baseball players. <laughs> What's it a glizzy? I cannot believe you just said that, William. <laughs> Did you say something about wieners? Well, hot dogs. <laughs> yes. Of all wieners? Dale Murphy and Cal Ripken are Craig Crenshaw's two favorite baseball players. We get both those guys in here. Both studs. Chris, AL East and AL Central for you. Craig's in the AL West. Tony Martini in the NL East. Braden Glendy in the NL Central. And JJ in the NL West. Box three. What do we have in box three, you suppose? Probably something good. That's all I would imagine. It is something good. Baseball memorabilia. It is something good. The White Sox could use this guy on their pitching staff. How about Eric Gagne? Oh, yeah. The Los Angeles Dodgers there. Got himself on uh, the inscription as well. It's very, very sweet. On Eric Gagne. That is going to be the NL West. J.J. Jones. He's so confident, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I think I knew that one pretty well. What's up, Jason? Good to see you, my man. J.J. is hes kind of rocking and rolling today on a low-key note. So there you go on Eric Gagne. Nice little custom there. Sweet. Great closing pitcher, right? Fantastic closing pitcher. I'd take him. I don't even know who the closer is for the White Sox. I haven't needed him yet. I haven't needed him yet. What? The Orioles AAA team is up. 26 to 11. Oh. <laughs> Does Gunnar Henderson have, like, or not Gunnar Henderson, Jackson Holiday have, like, eight home runs? He's four for six. Good God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Kirschjan, the other the other super top prospect, uh -huh. he is five for seven with ten RBIs. Okay, Jason. <laughs> That's yesterday's news. He says, how about that sweep of the White Sox by my Tigers? I thought they were going to get one game, and then they blew the lead, and I was like, God, we can't have anything nice. The one Lou Bob going, went crazy on. Yeah, he had two home runs, and it just didn't matter. I feel like there's going to be a lot of that this year. Yeah. Where he's going to be like three for five with three RBIs, and it's just, just for nothing. Oh, here's something good. I don't even think I've used this yet today, but we're going to start it up. Some headliner fire. What do you think it is? Congratulations. You've won a photo of Garrett Cole. Oh. The great pitcher for them, New York Yankees. AL East. Garrett Cole. Right up, boy. Chris Kohler getting Garrett Cole. Very nice hit, man. Dude's a stud. I'll tell you that much. When he's healthy. We're waiting for him. We're waiting for him. This is a cool photo, too. Right? You can get to, to this view of it. I think that's a little better. Kind of see it nice in the casing. Chris says, yeah, baby, right? Yeah, that's cool, man. Go back into here. I think you, you can see the auto. I'm trying to show, get that fire out of here for now. But, yeah, that is nice. Sweet pick. Yeah, right? Get that nice and framed up of the great Garrett Cole. I mean, he's a great player. There's no question about that. When he's healthy, this is dual certified, by the way, which is nice. I'm not sure who. Actually, it might be triple certified. <laughs> Hey, it's got the official MLB cert, it's got uh, DTX, and it's got Fanatics, so... Okay. That ain't bad. I bet that's real. <laughs> I bet that's real. Yeah, I mean, everything we have here, obviously, I'm making a joke. Everything we have here is, but, you know, it's got three certs on it. <laughs> he's excellent, man. I mean, he's one of the best pitchers in baseball, um, and honestly, you can make a case he is the best pitcher in baseball when he's healthy. Hopefully he's healthy sooner rather than later. Comes back the same, not just for our sake, but for baseball's sake, because it is fun to have Garrett Cole around, slinging that thing, uh, and, yeah, just just lighten it up. So nice win, Chris. He's been on fire today, too. Guys, are we going to get anything else done before the 9-15 deadline? That is in seven minutes. 
Seven minutes. This is what the break page is looking like right now. I'm hitting refresh. Five in the double diamonds. Again. We've only done two breaks since you coined Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Fred Taylor, Blackout Hydro Speed Flex, Kurt Warner, George Kittle, Aiden Hutchinson. The photo headliners with Ward Moon, Michael Strahan, and Andre Johnson all still available as well. So in the diamonds, it's uh, seven headliners in 12 boxes. We've also still got the baseball series that we can get done again. Uh, three to go in that multi-sport double. Still looking for the five SIG Miami Authentic, the Lakers triple sign, the Celtics triple sign, and we have Nolan Ryan. There you go. Three to go there. Five to go in the rounding third single. Can get that done. We did pull the Garrett Cole, but Ronald Acuna Jr., Slam Diego, Fernando Tatis Jr., uh, Tom Glavin, Miguel Cabrera, and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. all still available in that series, not to mention Lance Berkman and Carlos Correa. Five to go in the jerseys. This is one I feel like we can get done quickly. $27 a spot. Somebody buys a couple spots. That thing's going to go probably before 9.15. The jerseys are literally down to their final four boxes, and three of them are headliners, and two of them are Tyree Kill and Deion Sanders. The other one is Frank Gore. So we know what three of the last four are. Only one is a mystery. The jerseys are definitely one I'd recommend to try and uh, get into that final wheel spin by 9.15. Haven't done a min new mini break yet, Stephen. Fresh headliners. Right. I mean, we did two personals. Neither one was a headliner. So Marshall Falk, John Elway, Joe Green, A.J. Brown, Will Anderson, Brian Dawkins, Randall Cunningham, Ray Lewis, A.J. Green, and Emmett Smith. Five minutes on the dot. If you guys would like to do it, let's do it. The plan. The plan was the double diamond and the one and four double. And then one more jersey. See if we can get it done. Put this guy back on there, I guess. I guess this was pretty cool. I guess it was pretty cool. My fake baseball players didn't help me at all, Craig says. <laughs> His childhood heroes, and they did nothing for him. <laughs> That's like, it's, it sounds so sad. <laughs> right. <laughs> never meet your heroes, and I guess never call their numbers in the break room. It's the two things we've learned today. Yeah, well, that's part of the problem, too. Craig did watch. I don't know how it, how does it work when I'm not hosting, Craig? Do, do you do better when you're watching? I feel like whenever you're not watching when I'm hosting, you always do better. Some weird... Way Juju. Projected. Yeah, I don't know. He's definitely won with me while he's watching, but it feels like he wins big when he's not. And he comes back and says, hey, who won that? And I'm like, uh, you. You did. But I appreciate Craig because he stuck to the plan. He called the box numbers. Didn't work out, but it's worked out for him in the past. He'll be all right. It seems that works with everyone, he said. I'm not special. Everybody should be getting the same treatment. It is a final in the New York Ranger game. I'm sure we're going to hear from Bob sooner rather than later. Four to three in a crazy one. Uh, we should have not just bet Jordan Alvarez for one home run. I believe he just hit another. Ugh. Two home runs tonight for Jordan Alvarez. That was a nasty call. Right? Take Aaron Judge, Jordan Alvarez for two. Yeah. And Corey Seager for one. Even if you don't add Shohei Otani, it's. Yeah, <laughs> You're doing all right. Almost coming spurts, too, so. But yeah, they were, uh. They were definitely due mm -hmm. for a bomb. Yes. Well, it's just like, I mean, you know who the big power hitters are. You know what yeah. I mean? And it's like, you know who should be hitting home runs and who shouldn't. And when Jordan Alvarez is one of the best power hitters in the game, goes five games without one, it's like, well, that's probably going to change. change. That's probably going to change sooner rather than later. That's when you start placing the bets. We did not step up to the plate there.
Last big win was Adrian Peterson in the last Diamonds while not watching, and he got the $300 vault key. Well, as I said earlier, and my cousin said earlier, history repeats itself, and that's just how it goes. We literally have Adrian Peterson in the break room. Craig could get a spot in the vault, leave. Maybe that gets filled up overnight. Tomorrow he's not watching. Adrian Peterson comes out, and he wins. And he could get the last vault key and not even know it. He could have the same. You could have deja vu straight up. Except obviously it's not in the diamonds; it's in the vault. But you just never know. Two minute warning, guys. Did you watch any uh, UFL over the weekend? I did not. Did not partake. But you know what else? You remember that thing I told you about Victor Wembanyama mm -hmm. for the quadruple double? You know he was two assists and one block away from that last night. Good he, lord. 23, 15, 8, and 9. God. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. It's just when. <laughs> Craig said, I want the Fran Tarkenton. I'm guessing it's a Viking Flash again. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen it. But it is a secondary headliner in the vault. Yeah, he's gonna do it at some point in his career again. He's cool. probably gonna have a massive one. AP and Fran would be a nice double, right? Not bad. If you're a Viking fan, if you're a Georgia Bulldog fan, a little bit of both in your life with Tarkenton and AP. Michael Irvin and Lawrence Taylor, by the way, could still double up with. So one minute, guys, when the clock hits 9.15. We're going to do that early wheel spin, and then we'll probably hang out for another 15 minutes or so. Uh, if nothing else closes, call the show. Usually, when you got a speed flex that looks like this on the table, it's pretty easy to declare what the hit of the show is, but and Mike Trout, I mean, a guy we just don't get very often on a bat I've never seen before. It does make it at least a conversation. I think it matters who's hosting the show as well. All right, you know, in that if, case, we if, need to pull an eagle. <laughs> just automatically trumps everything. Yeah. Hit of the show, Brandon Graham. DeAndre Swift. <laughs> DeAndre Swift. I mean, no, we're not going to get him on an eagle for very much longer, so. Is it, is it this one? Yes, that is it. Nice. For, for the last hour, right? Yep. And then the mini, the minis are the, or is it all, to, wait, are the minis supposed to be thrown in there, or is it just the brakes? Well, it's two wheel spins. It is two wheel spins, so the minis are not included in this wheel spin, right? Correct. Okay, that's the correct list. Okay. Marcus Mariota number with the uh, Commanders is going to be number zero. The first quarterback with that number. Odd to be zero. Why? Yeah, I don't know. I, that is that is weird. I don't know. I guess you can be whatever number you want now, so if he wants to be zero. Six clicks, top spot, getting a wheel spin. Braden Glendy. Are you out there, Braden Glendy? You have won the chase wheel spin, my friend. Fill up the jerseys. I saw we got another spot in there. That is certainly one we can do before we hop off. 50% chance at Tyree Killer, Deion Sanders. 75% chance at those two plus Frank Gore. Only four boxes left. I was talking to my uncle the other day during the Big Ten tournament when I was over there. Because he was there too. And he was like, I hate when I'm coaching kids. When he was like coaching Little League. And they wanted to be number one. He's like, I would never let anybody be number one, and it speaks to the character of the kid if they want to be number one. And I was just like, that seems so egregious. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't think every... I never thought about being number one to be like, well, I'm the best on the... Yeah. I'm the best there, right? Right. That's not my reason. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm just like, maybe number one's your favorite number. I don't necessarily think... If you're born on the first, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's the kid's mindset, like... Well, I'm number one, so I deserve to be number one. But I'm judging of young children's character. Well, I just like I so. I'm like, so how do you feel about Jalen Hurts? Right? <laughs> like, especially when he switched to number one, was that? He made a very conscious effort. Yeah, he's like, I wouldn't want him on my team. I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay, friend. <laughs> was the nine fifty? This is the nine fifteen wheel spin. Growing up, number one. Yeah, that because it worked on sizes. I didn't even think yeah. about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the smallest kid would wear number one. That's how it was for me in Little League, too. It'd be like, like, one through three or something was like the extra smalls or whatever, and then smalls, mediums, whatever else. 
But yeah, it is what it said down here. The minis and then any breaks done by 9.15. So I think we're going to go ahead and spin for Brayden here. Then the next one's going to be the minis. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. We'll do like 9.25 mini cutoff. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, everything all right? I, like, threw the wheel on accident. Threw the wheel. It was throwed, as David would say. Yeah, dude, that is, that is his terminology. $63. Oh, not bad. I've been, like, just going Who's in the that? 60s. Sorry, Brayden Glendy. Brayden. I wear 26 a lot. I'm fluffy, says Craig. <laughs> I'm fluffy. I think I was I think I was fourteen most of the time. I was eight in high school. I don't think that jerseys worked that way in high school. Although, sort of. We got specialty jerseys though, um, for our state run, which is pretty cool. Like we were begging our coach for digital camo jerseys. That's like the ones we wanted the most. Right. And once we like, we only lost one game in the regular season, so we let us wear digital camo for the playoff run and keep the jerseys. Did you win? We won. There you go. We won. You said we 60 won what? 63? 63. There's still, uh, still a little sign in Elkhart, Indiana that says 2013 state champions. And that is what I'll be known for forever. That's it. Nothing else. That's not bad. I got to choose in high school. I still went with 26. Once you get attached to a number, man, it works. Yeah, it was. It kind of worked the same in high school, except the numbers were at least my high school. The numbers were not in order by size, if that makes sense. Like, like number one thirty. I'm just thinking football now. One thirty eight, ninety eight, six. Like those would all be mediums, and then like you know it was just different batches of numbers. So if you were like, well, if you're a large, you have this batch. Choose from one of those you like. But uh. They, we had to give ours back. M normally. The only exception was literally those digital camo jerseys. Other than that, I gave back every jersey I had in high school. We weren't we weren't Richie Rich to have everybody gets to keep their jersey and then next year new kids get jerseys and whatever else. Right. Sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. Doesn't work out that way. That's okay. So five minutes, guys, on the mini wheel spin chase. If you guys want to get in there, get a late break. All right now it's only eight names in there, so... If you want to do it, that is the link. Every single headliner is still available in the minis. You are seeing them on your screen right now. Marshall Falk, John Elway, Joe Green, A.J. Brown, Will Anderson, Brian Dawkins, Randall Cunningham, Ray Lewis, A.J. Green, and Emmett Smith. And Craig said, so you went to public school. I went to public school. Yes, sir. Public school education over here in high school. Sick brag, bro. I don't know if that's a brag. <laughs> I liked my high school. It was fine. Yeah, I didn't mind mine. Yeah, I enjoyed myself there. Felt safe. But it is that is kind of like a public school thing, I feel like. <laughs> I know I never see them in here, but you guys know. We actually get short sometimes. Yeah, they're, they're legit. That's a good grading company. I would say, like, I mean, obviously Fanatics, but... JSA, PSA, and uh, Beckett are probably, like, the big three. But, like, Radke, Prova even now, um, Schwartz, those are all fine. Those, those right. are all good ones, too. It's the ones you get that are, like, I don't know, Stephen Ryan Grading Company. Yeah. Like, what is that? Who is, who is that? Me. Him. <laughs> He looked at that and said, that looks cool. <laughs> that looks legit. Or he wrote it himself. <laughs> but yeah, Schwartz, Schwartz is a good one. I'd say you're probably in the clear. That could be legitimate. Yeah, I mean, generally speaking, we only use the best certifiers in our break room, and we have had stuff by Schwartz. So yeah. They're very I, legit. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're definitely reputable, definitely legit. Grumpy grading. There you go. That's your grading company. Double G. G Double squared. G. Yeah, G squared grading. <laughs> I guess that kind of defeats the purpose. That's like the 
my friend and I were talking about this, how it's the Los Angeles Angels, which is the, the Angels Angels, technically speaking. Oh, really? Because <laughs> yeah, Los Angeles is the Angels. Mm. It, that's the Spanish translation. Ah. So when you're saying the Los Angeles Angels, you're literally saying the, the Angels Angels, that's... which is hilarious. <laughs> That'd be like saying, like, G squared grading. It's like, well, okay, so it's 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 grumpy grading grading. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I'm confused. No, it's just called G squared. Just G squared. Yeah. I'd buy something from there, maybe. <laughs> this Mike Trout bat is $20? <laughs> Sold. <laughs> All right, two minutes, guys. Two minutes, and then we're going to do the mini wheel spin. I feel like you can fetch a little bit more than that. <laughs> G2. No, see, that's copyright. Can't do G2. Yeah, that's Gatorade. Can't. Can't do G2, but G squared, I think you're good. G squared. You're gonna have to really wow me. See, that's what that's what we should have done for April Fools is like cover the cert with something. So it's just like, oh yeah, there's the chargers and that is G squared certified. Uh, it's just like what? What? Hold on. <laughs> it's what certified? Well, grumpy grading, of course. You didn't know? I mean, you'd be pretty good on this one. That's definitely Justin Herbert's signature. Right. Seen that that looks times. like he may have wrote it. I think he wrote it. I wonder if he saw this lid before all the craziness went through it. I think he did. Uh, maybe. I always wonder that. Because, like, there's got to be, I mean, like, I'm sure football players are also, if they're not collectors themselves, they, like, appreciate memorabilia as a whole. Right. So I always wonder when you take something like this to a signing, if they're just like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, this is sick. I can't wait to put my signature on that. The boss man and Luke are heading to Chantilly, Virginia tomorrow morning for the CSA show. So a lot of great players out there and a lot of cool signatures coming back to us, which is always good. Right? It's cool, man. That lightning inside. Craig said if I was him, I would have just taken it. <laughs> hey, man, do you mind if I have this? <laughs> well, I was kind of, All right, cool, thanks. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. <laughs> it just leaves. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> all right, let's do the mini wheel spin. Here we go. Five-minute warning here, guys, too. 9.30, we're probably looking to hop off unless we are close on something. Five and six. Algona. Are you out there, Algona? You have won the chase wheel spin for the mini helmets. While we're waiting on Al to see if he's got a number, I will flash you over here, let you guys see what's going on. Five to go in that diamond double. Looking more and more like that might be for tomorrow, unless you guys want to make a late push. That Fred Taylor's still out there. Kurt Warner, Aiden Hutchinson, and George Kittle, four photoed headliners. Got three listed headliners in there, too, with Warren Moon, Michael Strahan, and Andre Johnson. Here's that video one more time, too of the beautiful Fred Taylor. It's just nice. Freddy! Freddy football. Double box break, six away in the baseballs. Eight to go in the vault double. Three to go in the one and four double. Four in the one and four single. Five in the baseball single. Seven in the vault single. Four in the jerseys. That is one that we could get done this show. I know Craig was calling for it earlier. I'll go ahead and drop it in there. If not, this will probably be the early chase for the show tomorrow, which I'm all right with. But Tyree Kill and primetime Deion Sanders still out there in the final four boxes. 50% chance of one of those guys. Plus, we have the Frank Gore in there as well. Moving on, maybe. What's happening? In this Pelicans magic game. Uh oh Everyone's getting... Everyone just getting teed up! Was there, was there a Ranger-sized fight? I don't know, but it just says Herb Jones, technical, two tags. Troy, Troy Murphy III, technical, one tag. D. Daniels, technical, one tag. Meanwhile, Franz Wagner, 22, 23, 24. Give him one more point. Come on. <laughs> uh, eight to go in the Diamond Eagle, seven to go in the Minis. All right. Al, last call for you, my man, if you're out there. Otherwise, we're going to start on one. And then uh, in three minutes, we might call it a show. That's funny. Not Dyson Daniels. That's my guy. Yeah, Kevin Jackson. I love Dyson Daniels. Gone. 
That's my rookie patch auto. I went out of the way for that. Well, he got ejected, so. Ah! It was it was over. Magic won. I fell three Chris Stapp's points short and Franz Wagner one point short. That's it? Yeah. On the whole thing? Um, yeah, uh, Grayson Allen is not playing, so it voided. So it but it still would have been 50k, right, or something? It would have been, been, been a buck for 420 bucks. Oh, 420 bucks. That was a different one. Oh, the 50k one? Or the 500k one? Yeah. That was a disaster. <laughs> yeah, all right. I was about to say, I'm like, holy but cow. But 15 cents? Well, yeah, I mean. That's just worth it. Well, I'm not, I'm not saying it isn't. I'm mm-hmm. just. <laughs> I don't know if any of these came close. Wagner was one point short. Where is the? Everyone kept getting voided, so they kept dwindling down and down. That's the worst. Like, come on, dude. I'm already yeah. spending pocket change. <laughs> don't change what I've got going on. All right, one here for Al. I may have found a nice um, glitch, though. Dude, I am just money with the 60s, baby. Yeah. 64. 64 for Al. Let's go. I think my last four spins have been 61, 61, 63, 64. Yeah, you have been on a 60 trend. 60 trend. One more minute here, guys. I think that is going to do it for us this show. It has been fun. Obviously, we went on a great chase for the Justin Herbert. Got that out of the way. The beautiful lightning bolt. Uh, chrome authentic speed flex that nice visor all that good stuff after that the chase was all about michael trout michael nelson you know it <laughs> this this thing is so nice man congrats ryan on that congrats to valerie on this one honorable mentions to ryan sandberg dale Hart jr and luke keekley that was our first poll of the day that luke keekley he survived the desk the whole day so that's going to do it for us, guys. Thank you so much. We are live every single day, 12, 3, and 6 p.m. Central Time. So if your break didn't fill today, no worries. It just carries over to tomorrow every single day right here at Ultimate Autographs. Any final thoughts? Steven, you, you no. pulled the whole day or yeah, no, three straight full, shows. Fun show. Lots of great helmets. Guys, have fun tomorrow. I will be back on Sunday. I'll be back Saturday, actually. I will see you guys Saturday. Yeah. Steven will be here Saturday. A little weekend special from Stephen mm-hmm. Ryan. I will be here uh, the next two days, actually. Thursday night and Friday night. So we will see you guys there. Thank you so much. Uh, Keep on playing. Keep on trudging. Still so much to do, especially with that speed flex in the diamonds, the speed flex in the vault, the baseball with Ronald Acuna and Miggy and all those goodies. Appreciate you guys. Uh, Hang in there if you didn't win. Congrats to everybody that did. We'll see you guys tomorrow.